If it should be, it should say I'm going live now. It should be live now. Hey. Yes, yes. Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are here. Will Weir. Hey, you're the last winner, Will Weir. How's it going? We are seven minutes away from tip-off of game four, baby. Solomon, how's it going? Let's go heat. You see the El Caliente, baby. Am I glitching again? Am I? Oh, heavens. Why am I glitching? What is going on with me? I feel like Max Headroom. And, 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 what's wrong with me? Tug Tug, how's it going, baby? How's it going? Jason Grant, how's it going? Gilness says, let's go green. Let's go red, baby. Let's go red. If they're wearing red, I see the Celtics got on green, so I'd assume that Miami's either wearing black or white, whatever the case may be. Celtics Eastern Conference Champs 2020 says uh, Celtics in seven. We'll see about that, buddy. We will see about that. You guys saw that game three where Miami came out flat as hell. You, you talk about Miley Cyrus' ass. That's what Miami came out looking like. It was brutal, man. We were flat as hell, starting to make a late surge in the fourth quarter. We were down by 20, cut the deficit all the way down to five, but Miami can't afford to start slow, okay? They cannot afford to start slow. Marcus Smart has been balling so far in this postseason, but more importantly in this Miami Heat series. All right, he's 53% from the field. Against the Heat in Game 3. That can't happen. More importantly, like we spoke about before, when Jalen Brown goes over 25 points, the Celtics have only lost one game all year. Once. I thought they were undefeated, but they only lost one. All right? So we got to make sure that don't happen. And more importantly, Gordon Hayward said, fuck them kids. His wife is going to be giving birth. Does he give a shit? Not at all. He says, I want to be in the bubble with my brethren. To try to compete for an NBA title. Because he know if he go home, Celtics going to go and join him in the hospital. Peyton, how is it going, brother? Good, Tug Tug. Darius in the building. It took you this long to download the app? What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? If you're watching on YouTube, listen, download the Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis. You can enter the 10K follower giveaway we got on Hot Mic. Okay, when we get to 10K followers, we're giving out a brand new PS5, brand new Xbox as well. If I'm not mistaken, the release dates are two months time. So what my goal is, in two months, we get to 10K followers, all of a sudden, somebody get the Xbox when everybody else getting it. Somebody get the PS5 when everybody else getting it. Rather than have to wait until Christmas or something of that nature, you can brag to your peers that you got it and you ain't even have to pay for it. Who trying to win free stuff? Me! So I'm going to rig the whole sweepstakes, and when I buy it, I'm keeping it. No, I lied. I don't play games. I ain't got no time like that to play games. That's how the N64, I don't even know how to use a PS4 controller. The middle, I thought the middle was, hey, I thought it was supposed to be like a projector. So I thought I was in, like, science class when I was in the seventh grade. I'm like, all right, let me lift this up. I thought it was going to be like Jarvis out of Iron Man. You just see stuff come out of the controller. That wasn't the case. It's a damn touchpad or something. I don't know how to deal with the technology. I said, to hell with these new games. Why not just give them away? Gridiron Yuki says, you think we'll be getting to see Miami Heat versus Denver Nuggets? Oh, it's a, it's, it's a stretch. It definitely is a stretch. Call up the gymnast. That's quite a stretch, but it's a possibility. 
as um I I, I believe it was uh, um Shaquille O'Neal had said it best. You ain't going to beat the Nuggets if you don't put them away. They ain't going nowhere. You could be up 3-0. If you don't twist the dagger, they mess around and be the first team to overcome a 3-0 lead. Of course now, you know, they already won a game in game three. So, But Denver's still alive. <laughs> Think about it. What did I say the Lakers cannot afford to have happen? They cannot be out-rebounded. Y'all got out-rebounded by 19? Dwight, Javel, and Anthony Davis combined for four rebounds? Come on, dog. Come on. Payton says the unchiseled Adonis is going to create a burner account and just win it to create another player on 2K named Jason. You see? You got a good memory, Payton. You going to make one? Huh? You going to make a burner account, make another Jason and UPS clothing? That's what you're going to do? I'm not going to allow you to. I'm going to figure out all your burners. It's going to have something to do with food, weight, or extremely hood names. We come from a two-parent household. We live in the suburbs. We don't know struggle. Well, not quite the suburbs, but we ain't in the hood. I ain't heard a gunshot in years since I went to a gun raid. No, that was fireworks, baby. Oh, no gunshots. Yeah. You know why people set off fireworks on everything? I went to a funeral. It was a white dude who died. Some people was lighting fireworks at the funeral. I'm like, wait a minute. Are we celebrating or are we mourning? What are we doing? But that ain't what we talking about. Hey, Nick, how's it going? Oh, man. How, what are our predictions? Well, how are we feeling about this game four, man? Because the Celtics have come out strong in every single one of the games. It's just about finishing. Crucial, yeah, it, yeah, that is, that's an understatement, Py um, Pyram. That's an understatement. This game is the game for both teams. Because for Miami, you lose this game, now it's damn near 0-0 zero, zero again. For the Celtics, you go down 3-1, it's damn near impossible to beat the Heat back-to-back. -back. It's not easy to do so. There were moments during the season. But the, with the way they're playing right now, it's extremely tough to do so. This is the game of all games. This is the series, in my opinion. This is the series. Whoever wins this game messing around and win the series. I initially said I got Miami in six. They lose this game. Hey, man, I, I have some reason. I have some. I have a reason to cause the pause. You know, I got a reason to be concerned. This game defines the series. D trust zero. What is going on? Oh, we getting ready for tip off. All right. We getting ready for tip off. Game four, baby. Game four. Cannot afford to lose. Now, here's a little bit of X factors for you guys. First and foremost, Bam is going to get his. This game in particular for Miami, Jimmy Butler, bottom line. Jimmy Butler's got to be aggressive all four quarters. You can't be, oh, miss the second half. You got to show up early. You got to show up often. This is one of those games, like, where you got to go out there and impose his will, similar to what he did game two against the Bucs, where he scored 40. This is the game he's got to do it. Goran Dragic, you also got to be aggressive. The two guys, Dragic and Jimmy Butler, those are the two guys who got to get started early, got to stay consistent often. Those are the two guys. For Boston. It's got to be Gordon Hayward, and it's also got to be Jalen Brown. Those are the two guys. Marcus Smart has been balling. Kemba, I ain't too really concerned about him. Jimmy Butler puts in a jumper, by the way, I might add. So Miami gets the scoring started. But for Boston, it's on the shoulders. Oh, Marcus Smart answers right back. But it's on the shoulders of Gordon Hayward and Jalen Brown. Those two have to be effective here. For Miami, their stars got to show up early. Their stars got to show up often. But for Boston, those, those secondary guys, they got to get going. Because you know Jason Tatum's going to give you buckets. Kemba's here and there, but as long as he's involved, you can expect things to happen. I'm doing the combined scores in just a little bit. We're going to start that in just a little bit. Duncan Robinson pass. Oh, great pass by Crowder. Turnaround jumper by Bam. It's good. No, 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 Bam, Bam. Don't do that. So we like to see. That was, that was kind of like a Cleveland Brown Fred Flinch, though. Bam is going to get his, but he cannot allow himself to get into foul trouble. 
If I'm Miami, I got to attack. And I got to get these guys in foul trouble. Come on, Goran. Do something smart with the basketball. Jimmy better attack the basket. Oh, that's Thies. Thies has been in foul trouble this entire series. You should attack him. He bugging. They need to go and attack him. Attack Thies. Challenge him at the basket. They doing too much dribbling right now. Great defense by Thies. Forces an air ball by Goran Dragic. Back the other way, pass across, skip pass, over to Marcus Smart. Damn, he shot a Paul George. He bricked it right off the side of the backboard. What's wrong with him? He's selling bricks. Get the Trump administration on the phone. That brother selling bricks. Goran jump shot right in front of Thies this time. It's good. Or Thies. Four-point lead for Miami. 9.55 left on the clock. First commercial break, we'll start, with the, we'll start with the combined scores for the giveaway. I got to put a graphic on the screen for the giveaway. I'm going to do that come, come, you know, second half. I'll do that. Uh, Jalen Brown returns with a jumper of his own. 6-4 is your score. Nick, like I said, the X factor for the Celtics, Gordon Hayward and also Jalen Brown. Both of them, I believe, got to be 20-plus sco point scorers, all right? And for Miami, Jimmy Butler and Goran Dragic have to be over 25. I think they both got to be over 25 to win this game because their presence has to be felt. Their presence has to be felt. They can't wait. Tyler Hero is going to do what he does. Duncan Robinson going to do what he does. Bam is going to go out there and do what he does. Bam can't afford to get in foul trouble either. But he's going to go do what he does. Goran and Jimmy, those guys are back-to-back -back year All-Stars, all right? Goran didn't go this year, but he was there last year. Jimmy, he's been there, done that. Those two guys need to make sure that their presence is felt and they're aggressive out of the gate. Goran started this game. He usually coming off the bench. Jumper for Bam. No good. He probably should have took that inside. 8.55 left in the first quarter. Hey, Frank, how's it going? One-on-one -on -one against Duncan Robinson for Jalen Brown. Passed out to Kemba. Kemba go. oh, wait, wait a minute here. Oh, back out for three. Corner three, bang. Boston takes their first lead of the game. 8.30 left on the clock, first quarter. On the floor for Boston, you got Kemba, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Thies, and Jalen Brown. And for Miami, Bam, Gorin, Jimmy Butler, Jay Crowder, and Duncan Robinson. Foul line jumper for Jimmy Butler, good. Bang, right there. See, he got to stay aggressive. That brother got to stay aggressive. If you look at the movement on the floor, Boston seems to be kind of delayed with their switches and getting off of picks. I don't know if there's a lack of communication there, but Miami may want to keep that up. And they're not really condensing. Now, on Miami's defense, they're giving space to the wings. Now, I know you're playing a zone here, but damn, you can't condense that far in. Great three from Jalen Brown in the corner. I done put one and a O. Oh. Ooh, Goran's down. I think he may have taken an elbow from Thies. We'll take a look on the replay, see what the hell happened with 7.44 left on the clock. Demetrius, how is it going, brother? How's it going? Goran inside, stop it. Oh, wow. oh damn, Jalen Brown slapped him square in the nose. Damn, Jalen Brown done hit Duncan Robinson with the people's elbow, shockwave elbow in game three. Then he just straight up slapped Goran Dragic right in the face. Bitch slapped him. Said, get up out of here. International man, feel my fingers across your face. Damn, Jalen Brown just just tripped. Bam as well. Yo, that's quick two early fouls on Jalen Brown. That got to be on Brown, not Kemba. That got to be back-to-back -back fouls on Jalen Brown. What's good with this brother? Hey, Jalen Brown is an X factor for the Celtics here. You can't just pick up two early fouls like that. Or did they give the other foul to somebody else? He swayed up. Yeah, he got two fouls. Four minutes, five points, two fouls. But 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 they're keeping him on the floor. Duncan Robinson with a clear air ball. That was bad. Jalen trying to stay aggressive. Kicked out Jason Tatum. His three-pointer. No good. Rebound by Goran Dragic. Keep in mind, Jalen Brown got two fouls early. Rebound by Butler inside. Goes up, but he's fouled by Jason Tatum. 
Miami staying aggressive. If I'm not mistaken, this three fouls so far, we're not even halfway through the quarter, and Boston's not too far from going into the, um, you know, halfway towards the damn uh, 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 Zibonis. But Jalen Brown might as well head to, uh, um, head to the bench at this point. I don't see how you're going to keep this guy who's very important to your team. I don't see why you would keep him in here with two fouls, man. I'm all about playing aggressive defense, but those were two bad fouls. You get a slap on Goran Dragic trying to reach for the ball, and then you get a trip on Bam. You got to play better. You can't allow that to happen as Jimmy Butler knocks down both his free throws. Tie game at 10-10 apiece. Seven minutes left on the clock here for Boston. Kemba pulls up from three on Duncan Robinson. It's in and back out. Rebound by Bam. Back the other way we go. Hey, Joseph says the best commentary. I appreciate that, brother. I got a gnat flying around over here. I'm going to kill it. I got the mosquito, but it was during halftime, so y'all missed it. Beautiful alley-oop. And that was um, the last time that we streamed. I said I was going to kill a mosquito. I killed it. I wonder if there's a PETA organization for um, insects. Save the insects. No. He stepped on a mosquito. We're going to we're going to find him. Put him in prison. They're killing mosquitoes. But bam with the alley oop. Back the other way. Duncan Robinson. You know what? I'm be very objective here. Duncan damn near travels every time he gets the basketball at the three-point line. Jay Crowder, wide open three-point shot. Bang, it's good. Five-point lead for Miami going into the first break of the game. 6.08 on the clock. Miami coming out very aggressive. I do not foresee Jalen Brown being on the court after this break. Bam gets a uh, alley-oop, and then Jay Crowder answers right back. If I'm not mistaken, every single starter has scored for Miami. No, pardon me. Duncan Robinson, I don't believe he's on the board just yet. But thus far, not too bad to open up this first quarter. And like I said, the first break, we will start with the sweepstakes. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is what we are doing. Okay, we are giving away another 25 dirham. Somebody will be the lucky winner today. So the line starts here. All right. So pretty much this is what we're doing. All right. Combined scores once again. What will be the combined total score for tonight? This is the only way to win. You're watching on YouTube. We've got 137 in the room. Here's what you got to do. Download the Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis. That way you can enter the sweepstakes. You've got to leave your submission on the Hot Mic app. You leave it on YouTube, you're only going to be in there for bragging rights. All right? So once I leave, the once I press, you know, uh, um, to post this comment, that is where it's going to start. A little bit of chiseled inception here. And Jordan, you put 217, but not just yet there. And here we go. Everybody underneath me, from this point forth, we are live with our submissions. Who will win themselves $25? If I'm not mistaken, the last stream, it was Will Wear. Why are numbers popping up in very bizarre places? But here we go. We'll see who's walking away with the money. Somebody done wrote Phil ACO. I see 217. I'm seeing 242. I'm seeing 218 on Jordan. Jason saying 215. HMU Gamer, you got to leave it on Hot Mic. Download the Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis. Leave your suggestion there on Hot Mic. Asus says 225, but you got to leave that on hot mic or it's not going to be able to be qualifying. Victory George says 216, but you got to download the hot mic app absolutely free. Get it on your Android. Get it on your iPhone. All of the links are in my description right now. Just click on the description tab, open it up, and you can qualify to win yourself some free money, baby. Free money. I see you, Nick. I see 238. I see you, Nick. Joseph with 223. 
Mars the Great says 251. Preston saying 211 with the Celtics. Corey Johnson, you say 223. D Trust says 216, but download the Hot Mic app. Make sure you leave it on Hot Mic. That way you can qualify to win. Mahomes 15 Goat says 218. I see you. Gaff says 216 Celtics. Chris J says 247 Celtics. I am high. 24 says 217 Miami. Marcus Smart, fresh out of the break, gets ripped by Duncan Robinson. Tyler Hero comes in for Goran Dragic. Igadala comes in for Bam Adebayo. Gordon Hayward in the game. Williams in the game as well. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. No, Jalen Brown's still on the court. It looks like Thies and, um, Thies and Jason Tatum left the game. And I think there's an offensive foul on Andre Iguodala. Big Money says 223 on YouTube. But keep in mind, you guys on YouTube, if you want to qualify, go over to Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis. J. Corey, 220. Kemba pull-up jumper is good. Boston cuts their deficit to three. 517 left on the clock. So far, the pace of the game hasn't necessarily been leaning in one particular direction. Oh, Jimmy Butler got to be aggressive here. You're one-on-one -on -one with Kemba. Take him to the paint. Williams stepping over to help. Pass outside. Tyler Hero gets a good look from three. His jumper no good. Back the other way comes Boston. In that situation, if I'm Jimmy Butler, I'm going to attack Kemba. I would not allow, you know, to switch out. I mean, Williams may be there on help, but better to attack him. Hero got a good look for three, but I still would. I'm attacking. That's a mismatch. You got Kemba by about six inches, Pulse. Birdman says 205. Jeremiah, 223. Osa says 218. Chiefs Kingdom says 219 Celtics. Peyton says with his luck, it's going to be 222 when he done bet 223. Well, this is bizarre. Three free, go uh, free, free goals. Three free throws for Kemba. Puts in two of three. 15-14 is the current lead. Jimmy's got to be aggressive here if I'm Jimmy. Pass out, Andre Iguodala, corner three. Oh, puts it in. I thought that might have been a brick. It didn't look good when he left his fingers. But he knocks that one down. 18-14 is the lead right now. Oh, they called a foul? On, that's the second one on Duncan, if I'm not mistaken. They're going to have to get Duncan Robinson the hell up out the game. Chili Goat, Chili got a fish, says, uh, what's good? Well, what's going on, brother? How's it going? Rest in peace, Gail Sayers. Yes, indeed. He did die, um, if I'm not mistaken, at 77 years old. Unfortunate. Also, uh, Road Warrior Animal passed away as well. One half of um, arguably the greatest tag team of all time. For me, the greatest tag team of all time is the Dudley Boys. But we ain't talking about that right now. Smart puts in one. No, pardon me. Puts in two of two. 18-16. Duncan's got seven minutes. Two fouls and nothing but bricks. Brother just out there doing cardio right now. Kemba inside, lays it home, tie game. Duncan can't afford himself to get in another, you know, another foul and get three. He might have to go take a seat. There's the timeout. They about to get Robinson the hell up out the game. Great job by the Celtics. Kemba Walker's got half of Boston's points. He's got nine. Jalen Brown's got five. Great finish inside. A little bit of English on the basketball. Tie game.
Some people say, oh, I see a uh, uh, panda says Hardy Boys. a 246 in favor of the Heat. Shy Cool says 212. <laughs> Jay says you said 215 Celtics. I see you, Jason. 215, I see you, Jason. No more scores. A whole lot of scores in there. Joseph says DX is the best tag team. I don't know about that one. Best faction? You can make an argument. But my, I like DX more the original DX than... I like the, um, the trio of H, HBK, and China. Rick Rude was there too, but was he? does he even count really? When they added X-Pac, the road dog... Uh, Billy Gunn, and then Sean was pretty much gone. I enjoyed that version of DX too, but the original one, they were they 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 were they were great. They were great because they could really do all the X-rated stuff. I really like that stuff. Although the next version of DX that followed, they were they were they were good too. It is the first quarter right now. If I'm not mistaken, four minutes left on the clock. Tie game, Swain. Tie game. Gridiron Yuki says, what is my sleeper team in the AFC? Well, the sleeper team in the AFC, I don't really think they're asleep. It really is um, the Raiders. The NFC, probably a sleeper team is the, um, the, the, the Cardinals. DX is entertaining. They definitely are. My favorite tag team of all time, like I said, is the Dudley Boys. That's... Torpedo says, big fan. I appreciate that, man. We're still at the second commercial break. Third commercial break? Can't recall. But it's a tie game, 18 apiece, still in the first quarter. Heart Foundation says, Jose. That's a possibility. Heart Foundation was pretty doggone cool. Somebody might inject a little bit of poison there, brother. And here comes the NWO. Ooh, Rachel Nichols is at the game. Goran Dragic back on the floor. Tyler Hero. Um... Bam out of bio. Oh, Iguodala still on the floor too. Okay. Now this is an intriguing lineup for Miami. Wanna make it into the game for Boston. Boston doesn't necessarily have a scoring lineup here. Wait, is that Solomon Hill? Wait, Solomon Hill out here getting minutes in the postseason? Who put Solomon Hill in? Oh, wait, hey, hey, Spolster need to go. Hey, 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 you put the wrong brother in. Ah, Solomon Hill on the floor. Ah, he better be out there just to get fouls. Hey, spear somebody. Oh, no, not Solomon Hill. Kemba fouled on the floor. Ah, oh, they giving Solomon Hill minutes. God, dog. Rest in peace, Owen Hart, indeed. 3.32 left on the clock. Miami's actually got 20. Let me fix their score. Who let Solomon Hill get on the court? Gordon Hayward, three-point shot. No good. Rebound by Bam. Hey, take your time now. How the hell Solomon Hill find himself on the court? Still Miami ball, although Goran Dragic nearly threw the basketball away. If I'm not mistaken, they got Solomon Hill in the trade.
Tyler Hero one on one with Kemba takes him to the paint, lays it in his face. Says, I'm a bucket. You're not a defender. Please get out of my way. Jalen Brown will answer. Oh, no, he passes out. Gordon Hayward wide open again, but he's still selling bricks. Gordon Hayward shot not on target at all. I believe he's Boston's best pure shooter. Beautiful play by Dragic, but he smoked the layup. Come on, brother. Oh, Williams was fouled. They didn't call it. Oh, of course. Of course, it's Solomon Hill who gets the and one on him. Williams finishes the side on Solomon Hill. Get him out the game, coach. Get him out the game. What is he doing? Why they let Solomon Hill in the game, man? Williams misses the next free throw. 22-20 is the current score. We got 227 left on the clock. Bam looking for the alley oop. Could not bring it down. They done threw it too damn high. Solomon Hill got education reform on the back of his jersey. Evidently, Spolstra need that in his mind. Why are you playing Solomon Hill? Jason Tatum really wants a three-point shot. He gets it. The shot off target. Rebound by Bam. Back the other way comes Gorin. We need to get Tyler Hero inco incorporated here. Igadala pulls up from three again. Shoots up a brick. Here comes the Celtics. Both teams don't really have scoring options here. Jason Tatum is 0 for 3 from the field, 0 for 2 from 3. That brother's struggling to get going. Oh, he's got a wide open jumper here. Oh, offensive foul on Tatum. That's got to be his second foul then. That's Jason Tatum's second foul. That brother's struggling. They're going to call a push on Tatum? Oh, yes, extension of the forearm. Yes, yes, indeed. Right into the ribs of bum-ass Solomon Hill, who shouldn't be on the court right now. Hey, get the ball to Tyler Hero, man. Get the ball to Tyler Hero. Dr. Bamboozle says that the Heat jersey looking fire. I appreciate that, brother. Three-point shot, no good for Miami. 127 left on the clock in the first quarter here. Jalen Brown jump. Wow, they called a late foul on Goran Dragic there. Oh, man, I don't agree with that call. Not that particular call. They missed a foul on, 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 on you know, earlier on, of a couple possessions ago. But this one in particular, I don't know. Let me see the replay here. Could it be on the kick? I'm not too sure, but boy, don't lie. Jalen Brown missed that first free throw. Clenef says 199 Miami. I got you. He puts in that second one, though. Cuts their deficit down to one. 120 left on the clock. What is Miami doing? Both teams really struggling offensively here. Finally, Tyler Hero gets his hands on the basketball. Good pass inside. Bam inside. He's going to be fouled by Gordon Hayward. Miami finally getting back to the free throw line. They should have been here way earlier. They should have been aggressive from the start. I don't know why the hell they weren't. I see you. Oh, but Dr. Bamboos, I was just about to ask you if you left your suggestion. I was looking to see if it was there. 233 Miami, Al Smith says 212 Miami. If you're watching on YouTube, do me a favor. Download the Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis. Opportunity to win $25 here today. All you got to do is go over to Hot Mic and leave your, uh, um, you know, um, prediction of what the total score will be tonight. If you leave it on YouTube, you will not qualify. You can still watch on YouTube, but you got to go download the Hot Mic app and leave your predictions here. Bam puts in both his free throws. If I'm not mistaken, he's still leading the league. I said league. Leading Miami in field goal and free throw percentage thus far throughout the um the series. Or was that only against the Bucks? Whatever the case is, that brother's balling. 
Gordon Hayward trying to get involved here. Want to make a back out. There's Tatum, who's still scoreless from the field. He sends a brick, but Williams answers back with a layup inside. Boston's bigs are so interchangeable, man. Both those guys are balling. Thies and Williams came here to play. Williams is four. He got four points, two or four. Oh, there it is, Iggy. Pass inside to Bam. If I'm Bam, I got to stay aggressive. I got to try to probably force, force Williams to get into a foul here. Jay Crowder got a pull from three from deep. No good. Rebound by Tatum. Shot clock is off. Boston will hold for the final shot. Jason Tatum scoreless in the first quarter. But opportunity to take the lead. Both teams struggling from three. Boston shooting two of eight. Miami shooting two of nine. They got to play better basketball. Here comes a pick. Want to make it. Oh, wow. Jay yeah, Jason Tatum pulls from three. Tries the backboard. No good. Bam should have just shot the ball. I don't see why not. I hate when players don't heave it from, you know, across the court. Just throw the goddamn ball. Who cares about a field goal percentage? But then again, this is a postseason. I don't think there's incentives in your contract for your postseason percentage. The incentives are in your contract for the first, or I should say the regular season incentives. So if you shoot a certain percentage, then you get paid. So that's why you see certain people who don't shoot, you know, when they got like two seconds left on the clock in the first quarter, instead of throwing a cross-court three, they'll hold on to it because they don't want to jeopardize their possible money. But in the postseason, I don't think that's the case. Ooh, look at the biceps. See the biceps? Stop playing with me. But the end of the first quarter, Miami leads 24-23. Jason Tatum is really struggling. Jason Tatum is really struggling. Isaiah says, do I watch battle rap? No, I do not. But the unchiseled Adonis does. I don't know how often. Well, then again, he watches it a lot. I don't know if I could categorize him as a um, battle rap savant. Let me ask. Are you considered a battle rap savant? You're well-versed in battle rap? Okay, so he says he's somewhat well-versed in battle rap. So, Isaiah, if you have a question regarding battle rap, I can direct it to the unchiseled Adonis. We now have his attention. No, you too. Steven says, which is a bigger loss, uh, Bosa or Saquon? Funny, we actually answered that on the Hot Mike, um, Hot Mike. We actually answered that on the Hold My Nuggets podcast. Go over to my, um, Hold My Nuggets podcast on YouTube. You can listen to the episode. But definitely, uh, Joey Bosa. Because, um, let's just be honest here, the Giants weren't going to contend. Um, it wasn't going to happen. So, um, the loss of Bosa is very tough. More importantly, you lost Thomas. Sol Solomon Thomas, I believe is his name. Um, you lost him. Richard Sherman's out for a few games. Garoppolo left the game. Raheem Mostert got hurt. They're losing pieces all over the place. So because that is the case, Bosa, and on top of that, Bosa, let's just be honest, he was their best defensive lineman. So losing this guy who's the reigning rookie defensive player of the year, that's a substantial loss. For the Giants, it's just more pressure on Danny Dimes, and I expect Danny Dimes is going to do what he does best, and that's leave loose change on the floor and turn the football over. Rivante says, uh, 222, I got you. B says 217. Ron Neal says 240. It's very bizarre what's going on in this hot mic chat room. This is weird. Gen C says 233. Tyson says 235. It's like the chat is popping up in different places. I'm not too sure why that is. Huh weird like look, look at the chat here people write stuff in the hot mic chat things are moving in very bizarre location i don't know why but messages are like flying to the middle so i gotta like scroll i see you there devin put 264 very bizarre why is that happening like if i go up and i look at the scores Everything has moved ahead of when I said the line done started. Oh, no, maybe it corrected itself just now. I don't know, man. This is weird. Luckily, I could still scroll. I got you, Chris, 193. Hey, what's going on, Panda? How's it going? Second quarter beginning right now. 
Yes, yes, Steven, I did hear about that, and I'm fuming. I was fuming this morning. A hey, toy robot in the building. I was fuming this morning when I heard the news about um Tyrod Taylor. Because let's just be honest here. You punctured this brother's lung. You could have killed him, and more importantly, you put this guy's his, his, his career in jeopardy here. If they don't get the stuff right, the Chargers already had a very questionable health staff. Let's be extremely transparent. Over the course of the last 15 years, how often have the Chargers had a season where a prominent player has been able to be healthy? Outside of Phillip Rivers over the course of the past 15 years, damn near all of the Chargers' best players have been hurt. Every single one. I don't think the injury bug has bit any team as consistently as it bit the Chargers over the course of the last decade and a half. They got to watch the entire organization as the Celtics take the lead. Somebody need to be fired. If I'm Tyrod Taylor, this is not only malpractice. I want that doctor, I want his um his his license revoked. I want to sue that brother for all he's worth. And I want the man possibly in prison, man. That's crazy, bro. And people talk about it's a possibility this happens more often than we think. That's a problem. Oh, Drogic blocked by Gordon Hayward. They're going to call Goten on that one, though. But it's ridiculous. You can't just puncture somebody's lung by accident. That don't make no sense, man. That don't make no sense. Jason Tatum has played 10 minutes. He's 0 for 5 from the field. <laughs> Gordon Hayward, I don't think he's scored yet either, but he puts in a three right here. Tie game, 28 apiece, 10.30 left on the clock in the second quarter. Gordon, fuck them kids, Hayward. Why we call him Gordon, fuck them kids, Hayward? Well, his wife is, you know, going to be giving birth real soon. Oh, Tyler Hero, three-point air is good. Three-point air. I sounded that entire thing out. But um, Gordon Hayward's wife is going to be giving birth, and Gordon Hayward said, hey, man, I'm not leaving the bubble. I'm sorry. Fuck, I look like Mike Conley. I'm not here to go be a good dad. I want to see my team win. My children can watch me after we come back with a championship. But if I leave here, it ain't happening. Oh, they just called the charge on Wanamaker. Well, all right. Good job, Miami. Playing decent basketball here in the second quarter. Oh, she gave birth earlier today. Well, congratulations, Gordon Hayward's a father. It would have been nice if he wasn't there for game three and four. This possibly could mess around and be a sweep. But, of course, I'm a competitive man. Le um, Leontay puts 199, 194, pardon me. Three-pointer by uh, Crowder, no good. Oh, Boston has a terrible lineup in here. Boston's lineup is atrocious. The only scorers on the floor right now is Jason Tatum, who's 0 for 5. I don't know why Bam didn't go laid up there. And Marcus Smart, who's not even primarily a scorer. The Celtics, their floor right now is primarily just for defense. If I'm Miami, I've got to be highly aggressive here. Tyler Hero puts in a jumper. And here's a timeout. Wait a minute. I don't know what Brad Stevens was thinking with this lineup just here. If you, This is not a good lineup for Boston right here. They don't have scorers on the floor, and the scorers that are on the floor are struggling. If they keep this same five coming out of this break, if I'm Miami, I'm attacking the basket all day. To hell with shooting threes. Attack the basket. DBZ Lover says the link to the game. Oh, let me go over to Buff Streams. Let me go grab that for you guys. Defense wins games. Yes, indeed. But you got to be able to put up baskets. This is basketball. They don't got basket in the name basketball for no reason. You got to score some points. Jason Tatum is struggling, so I'm assuming... This is a volume sort of situation. Because you don't got too much scorers on the floor, you give Tatum much more shot attempts to probably get that going for him. But if I'm Boston, I wouldn't lean with this lineup over here. I would, I would, I, I'd, I'd get somebody else out. Jalen Brown got two fouls. I wouldn't want to put him in there. Maybe bring in Kemba, but then again, you'd have to sit Wanamaker or things of that nature. I don't know, but I think they need at least 
three scorers on the floor for Boston at all times because Miami can literally score from anywhere. Punisher says, am I a Miami fan or a fan who loves a good game? I'm a fan who loves a good game first. I'm a Miami fan second. But believe me, but I should say believe you me, I am a Miami fan to the death. But I'm a basketball fan first. That's why you don't see me being overly biased in these games when I'm calling them. I love the game of basketball, but I'll be damned if Miami wins, you know, a whole series and Boston fucks themselves out of it. I'll be happy. I'll take the W. I ain't going to be mad about it. But I just hate seeing teams that underachieve because of mental errors. I hate that. I can't stand it. Like, if you look at teams like, uh, for example, the Clippers, I only, I only, the only reason why I wanted the Clippers to win is because I wanted to see the Clippers and Lakers go at it in the conference finals because I know that was going to be sensational basketball. But the Clippers single-handedly fucked themselves out of making it to the conference finals. No disrespect to the Nuggets. No disrespect to the Nuggets at all. That is a resilient team because you... The other team can continually, you know, give up baskets. It takes a certain kind of team to actually come back and win. But the Clippers had double-digit leads in all three of the last games. You saw them switch their entire philosophy. You fuck yourself out of winning games, I lose respect for your organization. I can't look at Doc Rivers the same no more. You're the, you're the only coach in NBA history who has blown 3-1 leads in a series. And you've done it on three different occasions. How can we look at this guy and say, yo, you a coach of the year, you an NBA champion, you just blew this series against a team that you were clearly better, clearly better than. I don't want to hear about Doc Rivers when we talk about best coaches in the league no more, man. I don't want to hear it no more. From where I stand right now, he's dropped out of that elite area. Homie just a little bit above average. This is, this is sports, baby. What have you done for me lately? Have I seen you contend for an NBA Finals? Have I seen you in a conference finals? You ain't been in a conference finals since 2010. We supposed to sit over here and keep singing your praises? Get up out of here, Doc. I'm sorry. Take his license. A whole lot of malpractice is going on when Doc Rivers is coaching basketball teams. He's got to do a better job. And right now, Brad Stevens, don't fuck yourself out of this. Don't screw yourself. Because over the course of the last two series, Boston has not been able to put teams away. They start very good in the first half, and they're screwing themselves over in the second. You jumped out to a 20-point lead last game. Miami cut the deficit to five inside seven minutes. That's why I say if Miami plays extremely, you know, if Miami plays aggressive from the start, Boston mess around and go home in five, bruh. Boston got to play their brand of basketball. If you play by Miami's rules, you're going to lose. But at the same time, Miami can't afford to fall behind. They came out the gate aggressive this time around. Jimmy Butler said they can't come out slow. So they got to step it up. Yes, yes, you are absolutely right, Darius. Doc's legacy, legacy might just mess around and get deleted, bro. You won a championship with the Celtics, but now it's been 12 years. What have you done since? You lost in NBA Finals. You've blown two, three, one leads, and you've underachieved with teams. My voice cracking because I'm upset. 8.30 left on the clock here. Jalen Brown in the game. Thank God Boston has another scorer in. Miami's got their starting lineup in right now, with the exception of Duncan Robinson. It's just a switch for hero. Basket for Boston cuts their deficit down to three. Oh, if I'm Tyler, I got to get to the cup. Pass outside. Jimmy Butler shoots a three-pointer. That is not what he's accustomed to doing. He should have probably taken a better high-volume shot and stepped in. Take one dribble in. Jason Tatum still scoreless. Throws up an alley-oop to Thies. One-point lead. Timeout coming from Miami, I believe. Oh, no, they're not calling a timeout. I think the ball just was somewhere else. Jason Tatum's got four rebounds, three assists, and zero points. And there's the timeout for Miami. 
Jose says Heat 219. I got you. Devin says, do I see the Titans versus Steelers game being both teams 3-0? Steelers playing Texans, Titans playing Vikings. Let me tell you something. Vikings going to be a little sneaky. They're going to be a little sneaky. Here's the thing with the Titans. I do believe the Titans will mess around and be 3-0. This is the way I initially predicted this matchup happening because I'm going to do my Steelers pregame. Most likely, I'm going to be doing it on Friday. But there's no reason why Pittsburgh should lose to Houston. Houston's only piece on offense is Deshaun Watson. Watson is tied with Carson Wentz for the most sacked quarterback in the league. Carson Wentz only had one week where he was sacked. Week one, he got sacked eight times. Last week, he didn't get sacked at all, but he still played like a bum. That's a conversation for something different. I actually talked about it on the Whole My Nuggets podcast. Go over. And I just found out today, we have 13,000 downloads on the Whole My Nuggets podcast. It's a good listen. Go over there. Go check it out. Um, but um, for Pittsburgh, we've led the league in sacks over the course of the last three years. Deshaun Watson, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the top two quarterbacks who have been sacked the most over the course of the last three years. He's tied for the most sacked quarterback in the league right now. If the defense don't sack him at least six times, it was a failure on defense. Bottom line. Offensively, Watson has actually showed up. He's been consistent. But the people around him have not. This should be a game for Pittsburgh to win. However, I hope the offensive line for the Steelers show up because they got a block. They got a block. Can't let J.J. Watt have a game because his whole family going to be there. Well, except, the, you know, the parents and things of that nature. But both Derek Watt, who had a safety last year. I said, oh, last year. Last game, he had a safety. T.J. Watt, two and a half sacks he had last game. I expect all of the Watts to show up. So we fixing a seat. Chiefs Kingdom says um, 219. Okay. Lamont says the Steelers defense looking like the steel curtain of the um, 1970s. Not just yet. Steel, the steel curtain of the 1970s would not have allowed Denver to slightly come back. They wouldn't have allowed Denver to cut their deficit to five. Week one, Mel Blunt wouldn't have got burned like um, Steve, uh, um, Steven Nelson did. They just got to play a little bit better. But I do enjoy that defense. I mean, you got three takeaways. Um, how many sacks? Um, how many sacks on the? How many times did we get Daniel Jones? We got Daniel Jones two times, three times. So that put us at what, 10 sacks on the year? I don't think we're leading the league in sacks. Are we? Let me take a look at the NFL statistics. Who's leading the league in sacks right now? Let's go over the team. Wow, well, Pittsburgh's number two in um yards allowed. Damn, Indianapolis only allowed 208 yards? Shit. Yeah, Pittsburgh's number two in sacks. Washington has their number one with 11, and they had eight in week one. So, yeah. And turnovers, Pittsburgh should be three. I don't know why it's only two. Oh, the turnover differential. Oh, that's right. Yeah, takeaways, Pittsburgh's tied for two. Andre Iguodala inside, finds Jimmy Butler, and one. Yo, all Jimmy Butler does is a bunch of and one here, man. Yes, Jay, yeah, Jay, you're completely right. Um, Deshaun Watson did get screwed when they got rid of DeAndre Hopkins for a bag of chips. That shouldn't have happened. They got rid of DeAndre uh, for, for a damn bag of chips, two packs of condoms, and spermicidal lube. It didn't make any sense. You gave this brother away for nothing, and now he's flourishing in Arizona with who um, myself and Marvin Francois, one half of the whole My Nuggets podcast, we believe he's going to be the offensive player of the year. Right now, both teams shooting pretty good from the floor. 48% for Boston, 47% for Miami. Boston's only missed one shot this quarter. Miami's only missed two. Jason Tatum still scoreless one-on-one -on -one with Jalen. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Jalen Brown shooting up a very tough three. His three-pointer no good. Good offensive rebound by Thies here. Smart pulls up for three, puts it in. Second chance points, ladies and gentlemen. Second chance points. Miami has to get that rebound there. You got to get that rebound there. 
Oh my God, it's Wanna make it versus Butler. Butler, you gotta score inside. Drop step, baby. You don't need a step back jumper. Shoots a huge brick. Go to the paint, guy. Be aggressive. Back out to J. Oh, mismatch. Jason Tatum one on one with Tyler Hero. Three pointer is a brick. Oh, out of bounds on Tatum. Kicked it right into the referee. Tatum is struggling offensively, but think about it. Tatum struggling offensively. Jalen Brown's got two fouls. Gordon Hayward only got three points. Boston's only trailing by one. They're in pretty good standing right now. If I'm a Boston fan, I'm not too concerned. If I'm Miami, you got to step it up. You got to take advantage. Jimmy Butler needs to take at least six more field goal attempts before the end of this quarter. Andre Iguodala missing from three. Jalen Brown in transition. Oh, wow. He tried to pass it to somebody. He thought the ref was his teammate. Big time turnover. Miami got to get aggressive, man. Miami got to get aggressive. They were talking in press conferences about going and getting aggressive. They got to stay aggressive. Gridiron Yuki said they traded um, Hopkins for um, David Johnson, and he ain't been good since 2015. 16. Jimmy Butler pull up jumper a brick again. Kemba Walker back in the game here, and he's 3 of 4. Feast with another offensive rebound. Oh, wow. Nobody called the foul there. Tyler Hero pulling up from three. Y'all got to get that rebound. Listen, nobody's playing good offensive basketball here. Both teams need to figure out what the hell they're trying to do offensively because both of them are throwing up wild shots. They're playing out of rhythm. What are these guys doing? There's a steal. Miami better score in transition. You got to score here. Tyler Hero forces a foul on Marcus Smart. Smart wants a review. He wants a challenge. That's going to be the third personal on Marcus Smart. Well, shit. I think this is worth a challenge because you can't afford to have Marcus Smart with three fouls. That's straight up. Oh, boy. You Wait a minute here. Let's see. Yeah, that's straight up. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know. That's a ticky-tack kind of foul, man. It could really go either way. But there was no extension from Hero, so you can't call an offensive foul there. You're going to have to stick with defensive. Here comes Gordon Hayward coming to the floor. Here comes Gordon Hayward to the floor. I understand why you'd want a challenge, but because there was no extension, you can't really switch that call. What are you going to switch it to? No foul out of bounds. Ball goes to Boston. I don't know what they're going to do with that one. That's a tough situation there for Marcus Smart. That's three fouls. That's three fouls. Book Hosey says 194 Miami. All right. Sherrod Petaway in the building. How's it going? Jalen Brown, his jumper no good. Miami has to attack now. You got to attack now. Oh, my Lord in heaven. Tyler Hero throws it straight to Marcus Smart. This is going to be a transition basket. This is going to be an easy transition basket. Kemba Walker, three-pointer, a brick. Gordon Hayward can't answer inside. Five minutes left to play. Somebody's got to get on the basket here. Somebody's got to score. Jimmy Butler got to get to the basket. What is Miami doing settling for jump shots and shit? Go to the basket. It's not like they've got substantial rim protectors out here. Jump shot from Hero bad. Here comes Boston back the other way. If I'm Boston, I'm going to the basket. There is no shot blockers in the game right now. Three-pointer for Kemba Walker is good. He's four of six from the field. Tie game at 38 apiece. What are both teams doing offensively? Miami is really pit they're pissing away a, a grandiose opportunity here. Jimmy Butler going towards the basket. He should be aggressive here. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Somebody going to have to throw up a wild shot. Jimmy Butler, step back, jumper on Thies, puts it in. 40-38 is the lead. But I'm not liking how both teams are playing offensively right now. Boston's got zero offense. Miami's got zero offense. Kemba Walker runs straight into Iguodala. Blocking foul. Kemba's reaching out his left tricep. Or the lack thereof. Brother don't got no tricep meat like the chiseled Adonis. He don't got his triceps looking like the, the continent of Africa. Stop playing. You see Chile? You see Chile? Over here? It's on the end. Here's Ghana. 
There's Ghana right there. Stop playing. Morocco somewhere up here. Egypt, where Yugi is at, is somewhere over here too. But we ain't talking about that right now. Step back from Marcus Smart. It did not look good leaving his hands. I thought somebody called a foul just now. I was about to get a little apoplectic. Duncan Robinson probably should have kept with that three. He might have been fouled. Bam out of bio, moving screen. Both teams playing piss poor offensive basketball, man. Ace says ESPN need to hire me. I decline their offer. I would decline their offer. I'm a comedian first. And a commentator never. <laughs> Here we go. 340 left on the clock. Gordon Hayward still. Oh, wow. He's going to be fouled by Duncan. That's Duncan's third foul. That's Duncan's third foul. Golly. What are they doing? David said that Miami should have kept these jerseys. Yeah, they should have brought it into the postseason with them. But I guess it's only for when they play at home and they ain't got no fans right now. So why bring the jersey? Gordon Hayward puts the first one in. Fuck them kids, says Gordon Hayward. He didn't need to say nothing. You can just see it in his mannerisms. There's Pat Riley. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the mask. Cy Cool says 215 heat. We got a tie game at 40. Let's fix that score for you guys. 3.30 left on the clock. Gordon Hayward, five points. Jason Tatum is scoreless. There's a huge travel by Bam right there. These guys don't know what they want to do offensively, man. They don't know what they want to do offensively. Miami should have been leading by 12, baby. Miami really should have been leading by 12. Back the other way comes Kemba, who's playing very good tonight. Boston's got scorers on the floor. Kemba, wide open three-pointer. Oh, wow, I'm shocked it didn't go in. Rebound by Hero. Miami's got to be aggressive. Jimmy Butler was talking about being aggressive. Oh, good pass inside by Hero to Bam. There it is. Oh, no, 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 Bam, Bam. Don't do that. Terrible Flintstones. I feel like I got to get the – I had it right the last time. I got to figure out what octave I want to be in. Miami's 3 of 14 from 3. Boston is um five of something. All I know is they hit five and they just missed another one. Rebound by Hero. Back the other way. There's Bam. Attack Feast. I'm shocked they didn't call offensive foul there. Bam got to go one-on-one -on -one over here. Drop step on him. Drop step on him. I guess not. Call Ja Rule. Ja Rule. I guess not. Tyler Hero, a runner off the glass, puts them up by four. I don't like how they're not getting the Celtics in foul trouble. Miami kills teams when they get them in foul trouble for reasons I wish I understood why they're not being aggressive. Tyler Hero's got 15 tonight. I understand his game is jump shots and everything, but if I'm Miami, I'm trying to get Thies in foul trouble. He's been in foul trouble damn near every single game. Why are they not attacking them inside? Rodney says Gardner Minshew about to hang 40 on the Dolphins. Ah, oh, boy. I actually agree with you. <laughs> I think he will. I think he will. What is going on with the hot mic chat room? Am I bugging? Let me close it and come back. Something is going on over here. Good Lord. But right now, 44-42 is the score. Will Tua play this year? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely Tua will play this year. We already know how, you know, um, things get down for um, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Play amazing through five some games, and then you got to switch it up. Savage Bot says this game is sluggish. It's absolutely sluggish. 
Jose Corda says, um, what's your fantasy team looking like this year? Oh, I don't got no fantasy team. I don't play fantasy football. David Box says, who's excited for Space Jam 2? I damn near forgot about it. But right now, both teams are struggling offensively, man. Kemba's playing a very good game. Tyler Hero's playing a very good game. Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, they're playing very decent. Oh, wow. They got Gordon Hayward got elbowed as Goran Dragic was going for a force up for a three. This, pot, this should probably be an offensive foul. Yeah, that should be an offensive foul. Oh, that would have been a four-point play. That would have been a four-point play, but I don't think it... Or was it? Is he going to the line? What's the deal here? Is that is that Hayward's second foul? I like the Pats with Cam Newton. I do. I want. I I hope Cam. I, although I have Russell Wilson, you know, winning the MVP. Oh wow, they did count the basket. Well, I'll be damned. But although I have Russell Wilson winning the MVP, if Cam were to mess around and win it, I'd have no problem. My only thing is, I want Cam to succeed. I just don't want him to win a Super Bowl in New England. Dragic puts in the jumper. I mean the jumper, the the free throw, and it's good. 48-42. I just need, if 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 he stays in New England and wins a Super Bowl next year, as long as Pittsburgh wins ones before them, I'm fine. I just want Pittsburgh to be the first to seven. I want Bill Belichick to win a, a Super Bowl without Tom Brady, but at the same time, I don't want it to come before the Steelers do. Good oh good fake by a uh, Hayward, but does not come down. Wow, Kemba tips the ball to nobody. This should be an and one. Good block by Tatum. Great block by Tatum, trailing hero. That was almost dangerous situation, man. Got to attack here. Miami got to finish this final 90 seconds strong. Good pass, hero in the corner. That's the shot. Jay Crowder, wide open. His three-pointer is a brick. This brother building bricks. God damn. Send him a Lego. Brother got a whole lot of bricks. Miami 4 of 16 from 3. Boston 5 of 16. But they call a travel. Well, I'll be damned. They damn near almost got it for a delay of game. If the ref ain't turned his back. If I'm Miami, I have to attack here. Cam will win comeback player of the year. Tyler Hero in 17 minutes. 15.6 of 10 from the field. Miami's got scorers all over the floor, as does Boston, with the exception of Thies. Rebound by Bam inside. You got to get that basket. There it is. 50 points for Miami. You got to finish strong. If I'm Miami, you got you to gotta extend the gap. Got to extend the gap between both teams here. Good help defense there by Butler, but better finish inside by Brown. He's back up to, oh, wait, he's, he's at double figures now, I think. Yeah, Jalen Brown's got 10. Remember, Boston has only lost one game all year when Jalen Brown has um, over 25 points. He is an X factor. Goran Dragic has to stop his picking up his dribble, man. He's got to stop picking up his dribble. <clears throat> he continues to do that horse shit. Jason Tatum still scoreless, and we've got a foul, and that's going to be on Crowder. What happened? Oh, wow. Yeah, Crowder was trying to sell that offensive foul. It wasn't happening. But so far, both teams very sloppy. JX the Prince says 212 Celtics. Four, five second differential between game clock and shot clock. Maybe six. No, actually, yeah, it's six. Kemba most likely going to hold for the last shot. He's shooting magnificent this game. One-on-one. -on -one. He misses. Rebound by Bam. Push. You got four seconds. Get the ball into Hero's hands. Uh, Bam just going to pull for three. 
His three point is a brick air ball. We're going to the half. Miami leads 50 to 44. Golly, what the hell? Bam looking for a foul over here on his three pointer. I do not like the way that both teams played in the first half. If you're Boston, you got to be feeling comfortable. Jason Tatum hasn't scored at all. You only down by six? Come on, man. Jalen Brown's got 10 points, but he's in foul trouble. Gordon Hayward, not really a huge factor. And you're only down by six. <clears throat> From Miami, Tyler Hero's got 15. Goran Dragic's got um eight. Jimmy Butler, have you really felt his presence? Bam's getting boards and things of that nature. But if I'm if I'm Boston, I'm feeling comfortable going into the half. Take a look at the statistics here. Boston shooting 40% from the field. Miami shooting 42% from the field. Both teams absolutely atrocious from three. Boston 5 for 19. Miami 4 for 16. Both teams been to, a, to the line. I mean, Miami's perfect from the line. A perfect 8 for 8. Boston 7 of 10. Boston out rebounding Miami by four, 26 to 22. Three more offensive rebounds with six to three. Boston out assisting Miami, 12 to 10. Two blocks to none. But on the turnovers, Boston has 11 turnovers in contrast to Miami, six. Boston has more points in the paint, 18 to 14. HMU Gamer says 197 Miami. Darius says low scoring game. That is your, your 213 looking good right now, perhaps. Yes, Jay. Tatum, six, 16 minutes, zero points, man. Zero points. Jason Tatum is struggling from the field, but Kemba is making sure that his presence is felt. Michael Rosa says, who's on my NBA Mount Rushmore? Um, Jordan, LeBron, Jordan, LeBron, well, Mount Rushmore is four, Jordan, LeBron, you can't not have Bill Russell, but shit. I got to put the two guys who brought basketball to new heights. Because my Mount Rushmore initially was Jordan, LeBron, Bird, and Magic. But you can't not have Kareem on there. And Bill Russell has to... Mm. No, nah, I wouldn't have Kobe on my Mount Rushmore. Jordan's there. Um, it is very bizarre for some apparent reason. On the hot mic chat room, the chats are coming in at like at the top of the bottom scroll. Like, look at they're coming in up here. Like, nothing's moving at the bottom, but they're coming in at like the top of the uh, of the fifth area. It's very weird. I don't know why that is. Um. Jordan, LeBron, yeah, I think I'll probably just leave Jordan, LeBron, Magic Bird, man. God, I feel unfortunate. I feel bad for leaving off Russell and 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 Kareem. But yeah, you're right, Ace. Basketball is far too deep for just four for four players. Only reason why I wouldn't put Kobe is because Jordan is there. I can't. Kobe is the carbon copy. No disrespect to Kobe. But I can't. Ah. Shaq is my favorite center all time, but um, doesn't necessarily mean he's the best center all time.
it's tough because on Mount Rushmore, there's no, there's no concrete list for a Mount Rushmore. The only agreement is Jordan has to be there. Jordan has to be there. He's on everybody's Mount Rushmore. You can't not have him. So, shit. It's tough. Best starting five. I've already done my best starting five. Um, we've done we've done the best. I've done my starting five where it's a uh, Magic, Jordan, Braun, um, Duncan, and Shaq. That's my starting five. Oh, we got the Sports Fury uh, people coming in on the raid. Hey, shout out to you guys coming over and raiding, man. I appreciate you guys. We support each other. Y'all go check out Sports Fury, man. Those guys are dope. They streaming as we talking right now. You go back and tell Josh. You tell those guys over there at Sports Fury. I say I appreciate you guys coming through, man. Darius says, are the guys on the original Mount Rushmore even the best four guys? Who was the original Mount Rushmore basketball? Let's go Miami, though. You know, 50 to 44 is the current, you know, halftime score we're sitting at right now. Hey, all you guys rolling in from Sports Fury, make sure you go and you hit that subscribe as well, man. Hoodie Zay says, have I heard of Flem Roll Raps? Yes, I have heard of Flem Roll Raps. Realism, 33 put 5 on it. Said, much love, Sports Fury Raid. I appreciate that, brother. LeBron, Jordan, Wilt, Kareem. Okay. Oh, you meant the actual uh, Mount Rushmore. No, no, they're, <laughs> they're not the best four guys. At the time, perhaps, but well, we all know they're not the best four guys. Much love to you guys, but what am I I'm predicting in this second half right now? For one, Boston has to come out of the gate strong. If I'm not mistaken, Miami has only led in one going into the second half in only one of the games. So they've been very strong in the second half, but now the shoe's on the other foot because now they've got to extend this, their lead going into you know the third quarter. So Boston's got to play not necessarily desperation basketball, but uh, Jason Tatum definitely has to get involved. That brother cannot afford to not show up. He's got to play better, bottom line. You can't just go out there, play 16 minutes, you got zero points. Play better, brother. This ain't 2K. You don't get to just hit the reset button and you start a new goddamn game. This is the playoffs. You lose, you go down 3-1. You want to be the 14th team in NBA history to try to come back from 3-1 deficit? No, you don't want to do that because you have an opportunity to mess around and lose. Don't do that. Tie the series up at two apiece. Shout out to you, Michael. Just hit the sub button. I appreciate that. Negan? Nugan? Vo put two on. It says second half, Boston minus 3.5 or Miami 3.5. Um, over, under, 106. Um, over, under, 106. I'd say over. Over. As for Miami, plus 3.5, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Neem said, you like The Last Dance from Netflix? Absolutely, I recommend it. The Last Dance was sensational. I, do, I don't think it's the greatest sports documentary of all time. Did you guys see The Last Dance? It changed my life. No, it's not like that. But it's definitely worth watching. It's more of a Jordan documentary than it was, you know, a chronicle of the 1998 Chicago Bulls. Because realistically speaking, if you piece together everything they said for the Chicago Bulls in the 1998 season, you really only needed two episodes. But they did everything in their power to make sure we've got all of Michael Jordan's, you know, his entire legacy. Drake um, Dibke in the building. How's it going?
Gerard says, who's going to have a better bounce back year, Brooklyn or Golden State? Um, to be honest with you, I would have to say Brooklyn. Golden State's going to have a very high draft pick. You're getting Clay back. You're getting Steph back. Draymond most likely will be in better shape. You have a high draft pick versus Brooklyn, who went to the playoffs, and now you're getting a Kyrie and a KD. How can you not say Brooklyn? But Golden State was the worst team in the West. So literally anything, that they, if they make the playoffs, it's a better bounce back. But Brooklyn, I think, will have a better ser uh, um, series. David says 92 Dream Team versus 96 Dream Team. Oh, give me the 92. 96 had some dogs. They don't get talked about enough, but give me 92. You can't beat 11 Hall of Famers. And Kristen Leitner is the, arguably the greatest college basketball player of all time. Not named, you know, Lou Alcindor, a.k.a. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Ravante says, uh, I just left my religion. Fuck Jehovah Witness. Well, there it is. Tamaric says that Tatum needs to step it up in the second half. Absolutely he does. Steven says, who gets more rushing TDs, Bo Jackson or Walter Payton in this league? Bo. I think Bo gets more touchdowns. Bailey say, uh, puts 199 on and says, was Kawhi ready to be the man this year or no? I think so. He performed to that level. He just ain't show up in game seven. Game six, he scored 36 points and they lost. What else you want from him? <laughs> he showed up. His supporting cast was not bad either. But... The man on the team, it was undoubtedly Kawhi. The man in the league, no. Who would get more rushing TDs this season? Um, uh, probably, it depends on what teams they on. Because you can't just plug and play, you know? It depends on what teams they on. Oh, shout out to Steven becoming a, a, a patron on my Patreon. If you guys want to see early commentaries, go over to my Patreon, become a level to three to six member, and you get early access to my commentaries, or I should say the game highlight commentaries of the NFL and the NBA Finals when we get there. Drake says the worst kicker of all time. Um, Nick Folk. Oh, uh, but worst kicker of all time. I say Nick Folk. Just because fuck Nick Folk. That's why. <laughs> Waco says, just, uh, just subbed. Let's get this dub Heat Nation. Absolutely. El Caliente. Let's go, baby. Darius says that you felt Kawhi did everything he was supposed to. I agree. Hoodie Zay says Kawhi was a very good player except Game 7. That was the most surprising thing because I've never seen him play like that since he's been a superstar. I agree. I was shocked that he had a piss poor game seven. More importantly, he didn't play bad in the first half. If I'm not mistaken, what was he, 6 4 11? No, no, no. He was 1, no, he was 5 4 11 in the first half. And then you go 1 4 11 in the second. Who the hell saw that coming? But Paul George and Montrez Harrell and Lou Williams, those guys didn't show up at all. Ridiculousness. What do I think about the new Bulls hire? They brought in um, Billy Donovan, right? So uh, uh, I'm indifferent. I need to see when the season comes.
Soul Mind says, what's my number one draft pick of all time, knowing my next pick will be 33rd in basketball? Michael Jordan. Um, oh, oh, if you mean this draft, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't follow, you know, the college stuff. But if it was if it's basketball, Michael Jordan, if it's football, probably give me um, shit. I feel like it's better to take a defender. I'd probably take Lawrence Taylor. Webb's World says, unrelated to basketball, but should the Steelers re-sign Bud Dupree or look younger so they could pay T.J. Watt? Oh, no. So re-sign Bud Dupree. Kevin Gildon. Uh, Ke Kevin Gildon. Uh, Kevin Green. Jason Gildon. This is the second of those guys. Bring them together. Allow Bud Dupree. Pay, a, pay that man. Pay that man. Jason Tatum. This is only his second scoreless first half. Oh, yeah, that's a good pick. That's not a bad pick, Michael. You take Dion. Shit, that ain't a bad pick. Duncan Robinson just cannot get a shot off. Pass out to Goran Dragic. His three-pointer is no good. Selling bricks. 11 minutes left on the clock in this first quarter. First quarter. In this third quarter here, Kemba's jump shot. No good either. Also selling bricks. Rebound by Crowder. Darius says, how to watch the whole My Nuggets podcast outside of Utah, uh, YouTube. You can listen to it. It's on Apple Music. It's on Apple Music. It's on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. It's all over the place. 13K downloads. I actually got to, you know, promote the podcast more often. I don't speak too much about it. I didn't even know we had 13K downloads until Marv told me today. I'm like, oh, shit. We about, to, we about to do a little bit more on the podcast now. We got to do it much more often because when quarantine had first started, we slowed down. So we got to step that up right there. Duncan still not getting no three-pointers off. Jimmy one-on-one -on -one with Thies. I don't know why they keep leaving Thies on him, but that's disrespect to Jimmy Butler. They playing man right now, I think. Great job by Drogic spinning inside. Does not finish. If they play in man defense and Jimmy Butler's being guarded by Thies, this guy had better get Thies in foul trouble. Nobody gets to the line better in this postseason than Jimmy Butler so far, at least those who lasted this long. One-on-one, -on -one, Jason Tatum inside. That's got to be his first basket. He doesn't get it. Thies scores inside and gets the basket here for Boston. What the hell is Miami doing offensively? You got to attack. This is the time to attack. Bam is fouled or does he step out of bounds? Whatever the case may be, this is ridiculous. Whoa, somebody said Jokic is overrated? Who said Jokic is overrated? Hey, do me a favor. If somebody think Nikola Jokic is overrated as um Jalen Brown blocks the shit out of Duncan Robinson, America runs on Duncan. I told you in the past commentary, Jalen Brown don't drink coffee, motherfucker. But um, if you said Jokic is uh, overrated, do me a favor. Go to the bathroom right now. Look yourself in the mirror. Slap what you see. Jimmy Butler inside pass, skip pass over to, or I should say bounce pass. To Goran Dragic, he somehow finds Duncan, but there's a foul inside on the floor. Jason Tatum, that's his third, if I'm not mistaken. This brother hasn't scored a basket, and he's got three fouls? Oh, man. Mikey Williams or LeBron Jr.? Mikey Williams. He's better than LeBron. He's better than Bronny right now. Bronny too busy smoking weed. I shouldn't have said that. Whatever the case may be, um, Mikey is balling. Yes, Jokic is the best center in the league. I, I would say Embiid, but I understand why you would take Jokic. I'm sorry. I understand why you take Jokic. Duncan still trying to get a three up. He's fouled. Oh, my word. What is Boston doing? Why would you foul him? Holy smokes, man. What are these guys doing? Is that Kemba or is that Marcus Smart? If that's Marcus Smart, that's bad. I think it's on Kemba. But there's Duncan at the line. First free throw is good. Give him 53. I'm going to change the score at the, um, at the conclusion of the third free throw.
No, Swain, I can't say Embiid is overrated. He underperforms in certain moments, but you can't deny the brother's talent. Like, for example, in the Philly series, Philly series, he's on Philly. <laughs> the series against Boston, Embiid mentally, it doesn't make sense to me because you cannot guard this man. Nobody on Boston can guard Embiid. Why are you shooting threes? That's where I had a problem. That's where I felt like Brett Braun needed to, something need to happen. Either Embiid is not physically or psychologically making good basketball decisions or Brett Brown is coaching him up terribly. And usually they keep Embiid out of the paint because Ben Simmons can't shoot. So Ben Simmons needs to draw. But Simmons wasn't playing in that, in, in that series. So why the hell is Embiid not in the paint abusing motherfuckers? If you saw the All-Star game this past February, Embiid was literally getting fouled every single possession. Kenny Smith said it. The, the time that he saw Embiid was the best center in the league was when the best players in the world were playing in the All-Star game and nobody could guard him. Embiid is the best center. Talent-wise, he's the best. But Jokic probably got that crown right now because Embiid mentally ain't playing abusive basketball. Goran Dragic puts in a three. Miami leads by, this should put it up to 12. This is when Miami runs away with the lead. They have to. Remember, Miami has dominated in the second half damn near every single game this series. As Boston gets a basket, tries to quell the momentum, cuts the deficit down, and Kemba Walker is balling. There's a foul on Kemba again. Ah, boy. Jimmy Butler's going to the line. But Embiid simply needs to play psychologically. He needs somebody to tell him you got to be aggressive all, at all day. There's no reason why Embiid shouldn't average 30. I'm serious. There's no reason why Embiid shouldn't average 30. Brass Man puts 499 on it. Says, yo, Chisel just wanted to say, what's up, brother? I'll catch you later on the rebound. I appreciate you for tuning in, Brass Man. But like Shaq said, Embiid is more skilled than Shaq. There's no slight on Shaq. Shaq my favorite center of all time. But let's just be honest. Embiid can do all kinds of things. This brother should be leading the league in scoring. In a league where J James Harden has led the league in scoring in the past three years with 34-plus points, let me tell you something. Embiid should lead the league in scoring. Bar none. There's no reason why he shouldn't. Jokic can shoot the three for real, but so, Embiid, Embiid's not a better three-point shooter than Jokic. But Embiid is a better scorer than Jokic. Oh, damn, they're going to call the charge. Kemba really fighting for that charge over there. Jimmy Butler gets one called on him. If this was another foul on Kemba, that would have been bad. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, good, good, good flop there. Damo says if this was 2K, Tatum would have the biggest cold symbol by his feet. That ain't a lie. He would. Style Bender says, do I think Big Bam can lock down AD if the Lakers beat the Nuggets? No. Lock down AD? No. The best way to lock down AD? Let him get comfortable because he's going to start stepping outside and shooting jump shots. He's going to play the way that he played last game. That's all you got to do. For some apparent reason, I don't know what it is about these big men that cannot be guarded. J wow. Two straight possessions, or I should say two straight shots for Jay Crowder. Could not put in his three. Great offensive rebounds by Miami here. But they can't leave with a basket. That's three offensive rebounds. They ain't getting no basket, man. Golly, what is Miami doing? They got good hustle. They just got to finish here. Jokic, no, Jokic doesn't necessarily bully AD. They're just both sensational players. Oh, my word. Marcus Smart is just treating Duncan Robinson like a child. Behind the back, had that brother shifting all over the place. Would you like to look at capital letters on your keyboard? Press the shift key. That's what just happened to Duncan Robinson. God damn. Three-pointer Jadis and Tatum's finally on the board. Finally on the board. He got a basket to fall. Timeout by Miami. Seven-point lead. Tatum is one for eight. Somebody call on Miley Cyrus. Tatum. Channing all over my Tatum. Tatum. Uh. Call Jamie Foxx. Tatum. Tatum. Tatum.
Anthony says, do I think John Morant is this generation's version of Derrick Rose? Oh, God, no. Don't wish that on him. No. Explosiveness? Yes. But let's not wish injuries on people, man. I know that's not what you meant, but, you know. John Moran is different. John Moran is different. That is a gen that he's a generational player. Yeah, Gerard, AD had two rebounds last game. He lucky I wasn't live. If I was live while that game was going on, I'd have probably lost my voice. <clears throat> Style Bender says John Moran is John Wall. That's not a bad comparison. That's not a bad comparison at all. Coop, uh, Coop's World says Nick Folk is a good kicker. Listen, do me, a, do me a favor. Stare straight into the camera. All right? Coop's World, you said Nick Folk is a good kicker. Release. Get yourself out of that genjutsu, brother. Don't let yourself be caught up in that genjutsu thinking Nick Folk's a good kick. Release. I, 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 I will pray for you live on air. Tayden says thoughts on Luca. I love him. Luca will be the MVP within the next three years, if not next year. I think he'll have multiple MVPs. Bailey says, do I feel bad for James Harden for constantly being on, um, for his team constantly failing and him doing a lot? No, because I believe it's James Harden reason why they losing. With the exception of 2017, when they should have went to the NBA Finals or 2018. No, 2017, no, it was 18. It was 18. Where they should have been in the NBA Finals all of the other years, I think he played a huge role in them losing. So I don't feel bad for him at all. OPB says Porzingis needs to step up. Absolutely. Joshua Taylor says came over from this... Um, it came over from Sports Fury but stayed because of the great commentating. I appreciate that, brother. Best kicker in the league is Justin Tucker. It's not even a, it's not even a conversation. Darius says everybody want to be Dirk nowadays. Absolutely. Dirk was ahead of the curve. Nobody was out there seven foot shooting threes, game in, game out like that. Dirk changed the game. The reason why you see all these bigs out here, oh, you see these stretch bigs, stretch fours, stretch fives, things of that nature, that's because of Dirk. There were players before that did it, but nobody did it at the consistent clip that Dirk did. Somebody said, cool, 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 cool. Justin Tuck is the best kicker in the league. No conversation. M. Jab says, thoughts on the Trailblazers? Um, shout out from Puerto Rico. Much love to you, brother. Thoughts on the Trailblazers is this. They need somebody else, man. They need somebody else. Because um I like that team. I don't think they need any uh, um I don't think they need to blow the team up. They just need an extra person. One more big, I think. Jumper by Bam is good. Oh no, 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 Bam Bam. Don't do that. I'm gonna get it before the end of the damn stream. Nine point lead now. I done put 59. 62. What's wrong with me? Marcus Smart inside, pass out. Jason Tatum, his three-pointer again, bang. He saw the ball go in. He's got that shooter's touch. He's warming up now. I'm telling you, watch. Jason Tatum going to shoot another three, try to get a heat check going. Jimmy Butler, pass to Bam. They got to be aggressive. If I'm Miami, I'm trying to attack the basket. I don't need more three-pointers. Marcus Smart on Goran Dragic, that's a good switch. His jumper is good, though. Here comes Jason Tatum. He's going to try a three-pointer here. They're going to get the ball to Jason Tatum. He's going to try a three-pointer here. Don't act like you don't want it. There's Jason Tatum. Pass over to Kemba. Get it back to Tatum. You know you want to. It's off the leg of Jalen Brown trying to score inside. Here comes Tyler Hero. And he's coming in for Drogic. All right. I could deal with that. I ain't too mad. Great pass by Marcus Smart. There's a basket for Boston. If only I could see who the hell put it in for him. Oh, it's Jalen Brown who doesn't score for him. Remember, Boston only lost one game when Jalen Brown scores over 25. You might want to get that brother going. 
Oh, good pass inside the Bam. Should go up. Oh, that could have been an and one right there, but he's going to the line. Let's see what they call this foul on. If it's on Thies or is it on Brown? Anthony says, can I say hold my nuggets? I always can say hold my nuggets. We'll say the whole slogan. You say it with me now. Uh, matter of fact, I'll say the first part. You say the second. Hold my nuggets. I hope you said it. Suck, buddy. Damo says, you can't stand wide side. Dude's the softest big man ever. I agree. I was, I was drinking the Kool-Aid of wide side for a long time, man. I was sitting over here like, man, I believe this guy, if he could get some moves, he'll be a beast. That brother soft. I understand why Eric Spolster ain't play him. It was a little bit of both. Whiteside would play very good for three quarters, and then some for some apparent reason he's sitting for the fourth. But then when you play him, he's wishy-washy. One game he's aggressive, the next he's not. Like, what sort of identity do you have, brother? What you going to be? I know, I understand you a shot blocking and shit, but are you going to do something offensively? He's an unathletic Dwight Howard with no moves. Jalen Brown's three-pointer, no good rebound by Bam. Back the other way comes Tyler Hero. All right, they're definitely playing man here. If they're playing man here, I'm going to try to get a switch. Jimmy Butler, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, there you go. Attack, Butler, attack. Stop with the jump shots, brother. Foul on the floor. On Gordon Hayward, that should put him at three fouls or maybe four. That should put him at three fouls, and bam, is going to the line. Miami's in the bonus. This is where Miami really can take over this game. All you got to do is keep staying aggressive. Get to the line. Every single foul from this point forth is going to get you to the line. There's no reason why Miami should not shoot 20 free throws in this, free th in, in, in this quarter alone. Honestly, they should. Fuck the three-point shots. Fuck the perimeter shots. Settle for the free throw line. Get their players off the floor. They're going to keep having to make substitutions and lose that team chemistry if you keep them getting in foul trouble. There's a one Miami fan on the screen right now. This brother ain't blink at all. This man watching the game like this. He said, one, two, three, four, I declare a staring competition. Does it rhyme? Not at all, but that's exactly what he's doing. He's staring straight into your soul. I blinked already, so I can't continue to keep this up, but I'm restarting it right now. The score changed? I know it did. Am I going to change it? Not at all, because we got ourselves a staring contest right now. You looking into my soul? Can you see what's going on inside my soul? You can't. If you can, you're a witch. I'm going to call somebody. Salem Witch Trials. We ain't talking about that right now. Did I blink yet? Not yet. Ooh, I feel like I just blinked. I definitely just blinked just now. You beat me. Somebody beat me. 67-61 is the current score right now. Let me fix the doggone score. I was too busy caught up in a goddamn staring competition. Jimmy Butler inside. Brother, just shoot. Five seconds left on the shot clock. He's going to throw up a three-pointer. Somehow it goes in. Well, damn, I'll take it. All right, I'll take it. I don't know what Jimmy Butler trying to do offensively this game. Oh, no, it was a long two. It was a long two. Somebody done beat me in the damn st st staring contest. Makoto Uchiha says, I'm under his genjutsu. Well, if I was looking at your eyes, I probably would be, especially with that last name. Gordon Hayward says, fuck them kids. Puts in a three-pointer. Congratulations to him. He's a new father again as his wife gave birth today. But was he there? No, because he says the Celtics basketball is more important than seeing the birth of another child. Duncan Robinson pulls up from three. No good. Tries to trail his jumper. Does not work out in his favor. They better get back on defense. Jalen Brown in the corner. Watch Gordon Hayward find him. He doesn't need to. Pull up jumper. Good. This should be a timeout. The lead's down to three. This should be a timeout. If I'm Miami, I got to get to the line. Get to the line, Miami. Foul on Jason Tatum. This got to be four now. That's his fourth foul. Four fouls on Jason Tatum. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute now. Gordon Hayward may be getting going, but Jason Tatum with four fouls. This ain't too good for Boston. Damo says this game goes into OT. We will see. Who knows what's going to happen from here. There's a possibility it could go into OT. I don't know what's going on. Anthony says Jamal Murray finna get some head. Head. Jamal Murray's calling on Al Snow. Because when he walks inside the room, he plays Al Snow music when his girlfriend comes over. What does everybody want? 
What does everybody need? Head! And here comes his girlfriend. Giving him the spits by Dre. Hey. Spits by Dre. Pause. Hodari says uh, Lakers in five. Who knows? David Box says Uchiha versus the Senju clan. Who's better? Um, I would say the Uchiha. I feel like the Uchiha is just much more detailed, man. Michael says, did I see his super chat? Let me scroll up. I got you now. You put two on. It said, Will Lutz is a better kicker than Tucker Saints fan here. Oh, no. Release. Release. Get yourself out of that Genjutsu. Justin Tucker statistically is the greatest kicker of all time. Granted, I believe that title is in the lap of Adam Vinatieri because of the big time kicks. But when you talk consistently, consistency, nobody has been more consistent than Justin Tucker. Waco uh, 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 says that Duncan sucks right now. And you ain't wrong. And hit that like button. We got 638 in the building. Hit that like button. We are doing a 10K giveaway on the Hot Mic app. Do me a favor. Download the Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis. We are giving away a brand new PS5, brand new Xbox X. All right. Once we get to 10K followers on Hot Mic, all you got to do is download the Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis, Android or iPhone. All of the links are in my description below. Go over, download the Hot Mic app. It is absolutely free. All right. And we give one a giveaway once we get to 10K. Somebody going to walk away with these brand new consoles, man. Somebody. And it could be you. Jeff Francis put 199 on it. I appreciate you, brother. Michael says, will we ever see Cat back in the NFL? No. Pickle says, do you even use the PS5? No, I won't because I don't play. I don't have much time to play video games like I did, but I play N64 when I can. Jeff says, Giannis to the Knicks. Oh, no. Ramsey says, how far do I think the Packers can go? I think they can make it to the Super Bowl, to be quite honest with you. But I do believe they'll be back in the um, NFC Championship. Tamaric says, um, you think Kyler Murray is a top quarterback? No. It's, way t it's his second year. We ain't going to call him no top quarterback yet. Oh, there's the photo of Gordon Hayward's um, child. Look at his child looking like a goddamn ornament on a Christmas tree. How cool is that? They call them Gordon Theodore Hayward. He's going to be a junior. How nice. Was he there to see the birth of his kids? Absolutely not. Why? Because fuck them kids. That's why. Let me move my insignia over here. I'm going to put the fuck them kids at the top. Fuck them kids Hayward. There it is right there for your, for, for your entertainment. Gordon fuck them kids Hayward. Bam out of bio at the free throw line. Puts in the first. The second would give the, um, the Heat a, a five-point lead, but that's not the case. 70-66 is the score right now. Gordon's not here for the birth of his children because fuck them kids. Jason Tatum jumper no good. Rebound by Williams. Kicks it out to fuck them kids Hayward. He gives it over to the smartest Marcus. Pass over to the corner to Jalen Brown. He, he's fouled by Jake Crowder. Does that put Boston in the bonus? No, it does not. Pickle says that he thought that he was going to retire because of the leg injury. Me too. Coop's World put 199 on it. Says, hey, thoughts on the Saints. I like the Saints. I, I've been saying for the longest the Saints should be representing the NFC in the, in the goddamn, you know, in the Super Bowl. But they continue to underachieve, man. I think they're going to go out there and probably get to NFC Divisional and mess around and choke it away. Last three years, those guys have lost on the last play. The Saints, the Saints need to just do it. No more talking for me. I'm tired of talking about the Saints because I sing their praises every single year and they let me down. I want Drew Brees to have another Lombardi on his fingers. I do.
But they can't continue to underachieve when they make it to the postseason, man. So until I see the Saints go out there and play their best, I ain't going to say nothing about them until we get to the playoffs. Marcus Smart, wide open three. He's selling bricks. It's off. You see Gordon Hayward in the corner? Guess what he's thinking to himself while he's trying to guard Andre Godala? He's saying, fuck them kids. Goran Drodge, why they yo get the ball to Hero? There you go. Jeff Frank, uh, um, Frank, uh, Frank, oh, Francois, pardon me. Put 4.99 on it. Said your football videos are as entertaining as the game itself. Keep, keep, um, doing this, brother. I appreciate it. I definitely will. Wow, J Jason Tatum had to make sure he didn't step out of bounds. One on one, all the way to the paint and one. Count the basket, ref, and one. Gridiron says, what are my thoughts on the Nuggets? They're a very resilient team. But let's just be honest here. The Lakers are the better basketball team. It comes down to who wants it more. And from where we sit right now, or I should say as of yesterday, Boston, Boston, Denver wanted it more. Jason Tatum got 10 points in the quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Cody says, how about my boy, Russell Wilson? Do you think he will win the MVP? Yes, I said it in my commentary. If you guys have not yet saw it, um, the, the um, primetime commentary was released earlier at 10, pardon me, at 7.30. Go and check that out after the stream if you have not already. The deficit is now two. Miami led by as much as 12 points. Tyler Hero, beautiful inside. Layup is good. Williams could not get his elevator to the top floor. I think that should put Hero at 20 points. Indeed it does. 8 for 12 from the field. Jason Tatum, one-on-one -on, -one on Crowder. That's another blocking foul. And one. And one again. Jason Tatum coming alive, man. He's got 13 points in the quarter. What the hell is Miami doing? Opportunity to cut their deficit down to one. Tatum has woken up. And I told you guys, Boston should be sitting pretty. If you're a Boston fan, you only went into halftime down by six. Jason Tatum ain't even scored. Lifelike steak in the building. How's it going, brother? Great basket by Jason Tatum waiting on this free throw to see if we're going to give him 74-73. He puts it in there. One-point lead for Miami. 45 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Bailey says, thoughts on Josh Allen. He's making me a believer. Playing sensational football. Oh, Tyler Hero going to pull up here. Good finish by Drogic. Hell of a finish. They thought they was going to close on the right side. Gotcha, stupid. Dummy. Lewis saying he's watching AEW and listening to me. I appreciate that. Six or oh, five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Kemba Walker stepping inside. Says Hillshar Farms back out to Jason Tatum. He's jumping from the perimeter. Bang, it's good. Five seconds left to play in the third quarter. The lead down to one. There's Drogic picks up the basketball. He's going to try to get a, a bucket inside. He's blocked by Tatum. And we're going into the fourth quarter. One-point lead for Miami. There it is. Jason Tatum suddenly leading his team in scoring 16 points here in the third quarter alone. He said, Hillshar Farms, go meet. Jay and Key channel, channel in the building. How is it going? Jose says, thoughts on Retribution's debut? I haven't seen it yet. HMU Gamer says, how's my, ga how's my day? It was cool, man. It was cool. Bailey says, is Russell Wilson underrated? Not at all. Those who know football have him as the either one or two best quarterback in the league. It's either him or Mahomes. Aaron Rodgers is still that guy, but he ain't at the top right now. Lamar had an MVP season, but I wouldn't put him there yet. It's Russell and Mahomes for me. Alex says, do I think Cam will have a better season than Brady? Absolutely. Malik says, the best Pittsburgh wide receiver right now? Um... Right now, 
It's still Juju all time. Antonio Brown, although Heinz Ward is my favorite player of all time, Antonio Brown is the best wide receiver ta uh, wide receiver talent Pittsburgh has ever had. So, Webb's World says, do the Pelicans trade Drew Holiday and pick up Andrew Wiggins' contract to get the second pick and pair LaMelo with Lonzo? No. Why would I get rid of one of the best defenders in the league and one of my best players to get an underachiever in Andrew Wiggins? All under the grounds of trying to pair the Ball Brothers together? Hell no. Rainbow Fury says, um, what's up, brother? What do I think of Ryan Gosling Golf not being a liability right now? I like it, but it's too early. I'm not going to take any player's performance seriously until week six. Because football don't really start until about week four, but because there was no preseason, I'm giving it about week six to figure out what sort of teams is really out here. What is the identity of these basketball or of these NFL teams out here? Because the football legs ain't going to kick in until about week six. People hate on Brady because of the team he's on. No, really, even people don't hate on Brady because he's on Tampa Bay. People hate on Brady because he's Brady. Yeah, absolutely correct there. Uh, um, near near niche. Yeah, absolutely correct there. People don't hate on Brady because he's a buck. People hate on Brady because he's Brady. Break says Tyler Hero been carrying the heat the past two games. Yes, him and Bam. Picky says, am I shocked that a Dallas Cowboys came back on the Falcons? Actually, no. Because the Falcons are notorious for blowing leads. The Purple Green Bean says, I deserve more fans. I appreciate that, man. But I don't have fans. I have supporters. We all a team here. I move when y'all move. You move when I move. Just like that. Who's the best? Th who's the third best QB right now? Probably Lamar. Probably Lamar. You'd have to gauge everything off the course of the last, you know, off, off last season. You can't take two weeks and gauge that because that's that's foolish. Hell, if that was the case, two last year or two years ago, we could have said Ryan Fitzpatrick was the best quarterback in the league based on what he did the first three weeks of the season. If I'm Miami, I got to do the same thing that I did last quarter, and that's get the, the Celtics in the bonus. Tyler Hero puts in a three. The lead back up to four. Ooh, Gordon, fuck them kids is still on the court. Right now, Hero got 23. Butler's got 17. Adebayo's got 16. Drogic's got 15. Get to the cup, Drogic. Pass out to Hero. Wide open three. No good. They got to attack the basket. Tatum is suddenly the leading scorer for Boston after being scoreless in the first half. He's going to take this perimeter jumper right here. Easy basket. Gets inside. Stop playing. He called me a, dumb, a dummy. Why am I getting a perimeter jumper when I could go score inside? These Miami guards can't guard me. Tyler Hero pull up. Rolls out and rolls right back in. I've got jumpers nobody can touch. Remember that game, Fate? That old computer game, Fate? Jalen Brown not even on the floor. Thies turn around jumping. No, pass over to, oh, wow. What a pass by Thies to Hayward. And he's going to be fouled. And Duncan Robinson's got four fouls. Robinson has done nothing offensively. David Box put five on and said, you submit your application to SB Nation yet? Actually, I think I did. I? I think I did. I can't remember. I remember somebody had told me, if not you, somebody had told me to go and file an application, but I, I can't remember. I have to go. Why, why not file another one? The lead back down to two. Hayward puts in both his free throws. Can't miss free throws. They free. Oh, no. I'm max headroom in this piece. I keep glitching again. What are they doing? 
Duncan Robinson, another travel while trying to set up a three. Pass over to Bam. Somebody's got to score here. Bam, turn around, jumper, no good. Here comes Boston. Opportunity to take the lead. Jason Tatum going towards the basket. Puts the ball on the ground, and he's fouled. But it's a foul on the ground. Who's that foul against? Goran Dragic, or is it going to be Duncan? I believe that's on Dragic, yeah. That's on Dragic. After high school show says, let's go heat. You ain't wrong. Jimmy Butler enters the game, and Jimmy better be extremely Extremely aggressive. Duncan Robinson played 23 minutes, only got three fouls. This brother went out there and did a whole lot of nothing. Call Antonio Brown, ask for a remix. Whole lot of nothing. Whole lot of nothing. He did a whole lot of nothing. Jimmy Butler inside, easy dunk. Great pass by Iguodala. Dub 9 Eli, put 499 on it. Says, stupid request, but can you play Hero by um Enrique Iglesias when Tyler Hero scores during the, uh, the commentary? I've never heard that song. But I'll search it. Enrique Iglesias. I, I will play it this upcoming game for Tyler Hero. You made a request for it? Damn it, I'm going to do it. I'm a man of the people. Joshua says, what's my thoughts on Big Ben? I don't really have any yet. It's too early in the season to call. Life Like Steak says, where um, to people use the promo code? Promo code for pa uh, Panda says, play I Need a Hero. A lot of heroes, a lot of songs regarding heroes. Three-pointer from Kemba Walker. He's three of seven from the three-point line. Jimmy Butler need to attack here. Get these in foul trouble, man. Well, it's fourth quarter, so at this point, who really gives a shit? Just get to the line. Goran Dragic inside, throws up a prayer. No good. It's a brick. Back the other way, and Celtics probably going to take the lead here. Kemba inside, not foul. Jalen Brown, pass inside to Thies. There's the dunk. The Celtics take the lead. They were down by as much as 12, and here they are. It's their first lead since 25-24, and look at Miami fucking themselves out of, uh, out, out of the lead. Minus what, Miami just took out their own dildo and decided let's just fuck ourselves and lose the damn lead. Coop's World says you can play Hero by Skillet. I actually have that on my, um, on my eye touch. I need a hero to save me. A hero just in time. Save me just in time. Save me just in time. Who's gonna fight for the week? Who's gonna get me believe? All that other lyrics. Uh, well, probably when it's playing in my ears, I know the lyrics. Damo, you right. No lube. No, Darius, you right. No lube. Steven says, Jason Tatum said, I took it personal. Who wins the NBA Finals? MVP if the Lakers win it. Davis or James? LeBron's going to win it. As much as I would love to say LeBron is going to make Anthony Davis the MVP, I don't think LeBron is going to go out there and play passive and my turn, your turn basketball. LeBron going to be stepping on people's necks. If they win the championship, LeBron's going to be the MVP. I think that's the one thing LeBron will refuse to allow to happen. You could talk about him being 3-6 and six in the finals. You could talk about him losing NBA finals. But when they get to the finals, LeBron is always the team's best player. With the exception of the 2011 Miami Heat, because I'll never forgive him for that. Game four, you only had eight points. I ought to slap you in the damn face, LeBron. I'll take a shit in a, piece of, in, in, a plap, in a paper bag and mail it to your house, LeBron. Rarely even says, do I think Tom Brady can still play? Yes. Score right now, 85-84 in the fourth quarter. Sherrod Petaway said that uh, 
The song was in SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, indeed. And if you guys who are watching on YouTube, if you have not already, download the Hot Mic app, use the promo code Adonis, get it on your phone. We do giveaways every single stream. Somebody going to walk away with $25, all right? You just got to predict the total score for tonight's game. If you leave it on YouTube, you will not qualify. It's got to be on, you know, on, um, on Hot Mic. Download the Hot Mic app, use the promo code Adonis. Ryan Joseph says, when's the commentary video coming out? It already came out. It was posted today. Turn your post notifications on for my channel. I don't know why, but YouTube does not like to notify my following of um, my video's release. So there's a lot of people who don't hit me up like, yo, what's good with the commentary this year? You're not doing it. I'm like, dog, we six videos in. Tommy Griffin said, do I, do I hate her, LeBron? No. Marcus Smart leading the Celtics right now. Right now, it's Miami's bowl. Celtics lead over the Miami Heat with, um, I believe it's eight minutes. And how many seconds remain? Jimmy Butler pulls up for three, sets up a break. There's Bam inside. Good finish inside. 834 left to play. Miami leads 86-85. Jason Tatum scoreless in the first half, came out, and now he's leading Boston in scoring. Steal by Jimmy Butler. He's going to try to slow it down. No, I lied. Try to lay it up inside, but he's fouled from behind by Marcus Smart. That should be Smart's fourth foul. Nernish says, how long have I been a Miami fan? Since the year 2000. Go check out my video. Type in Chiseled Adonis Steelers Heat. The first video that pops up is how I became a Miami Heat fan. The year was the 2000. I remember I was playing NBA Jam 2000 with the Los Angeles Lakers because my father loved Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal. And I continued to beat everybody's asses. But whenever I played the pair of Tim Hardaway and Alonzo Mourning, I could not win. So I decided to play with the Heat. I ended up dominating everybody in the game thus I became a Miami Heat fan in the year 2000 as Tyler Hero makes a three-point shot Tatum puts up a three it's a brick here comes Tyler Hero back the other way he's gonna push no he's not Hero step back jumper pass out Drogic wide open three no good it's a brick rebound by Bam he can't hold on to the basketball both players trying to get dirty over here somebody just got fouled it's going to be called on Hero rarely even says Spo is a Hall of Fame coach he's got to win without LeBron then he'll cement it but it's a basketball Hall of Fame everybody goes to the Hall of Fame Ryan says am I a Florida boy no I am not I am born and raised in New York I am Brooklyn to the core which is hilarious. I'm a Pittsburgh Steeler fan from Brooklyn. I'm a Miami Heat fan from Brooklyn. Which player is the jersey? Oh, Mr. 305 himself. This is Adonis Haslam right here, baby. This is Adonis Haslam right here. How the hell can you be a Miami Heat fan and you don't got a Adonis Haslam jersey? Marcus Smart can't hold on to the basketball. Stolen by Jimmy Butler. James Kell says, why am I a, Heat, uh, a Steelers fan? Well, there it is. I'll tell you why I became a Steelers fan same year, just a little bit later than the Miami Heat. Or was it? No, no, no. I think I became a Steelers fan a month before I became a Heat fan. I came home from church. It was uh, I was six years old in the year 2000. I remember it was a week four. The undefeated New York Jets host the Pittsburgh Steelers. I turn on the television in the second quarter. Jerome Bettis runs a 12-yard touchdown. And I never saw somebody that big move so nimble and swiftly. So I said, damn, let me start playing my NFL quarterback 2001. I used to play with the Green Bay Packers. I'd call their quarterback Brett Favor rather than Brett Favre. At that moment, I started playing with the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise mode. I went 19 and oh, and then I became a champion. I said, damn it, I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. That season and they ended up missing the playoffs. Lo and behold, the next year, what happened? AFC Championship. But of course, Troy Brown done kicked our ass. Whatever the case was, I became a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. And I've been rocking with the same two teams for the last 20 years. Tyler Hero scores inside, and damn it, this white boy can play. 30 points. That's how the white man shoots the basketball. That's how the white man scores inside. Stop playing. He said, race relations right now in the United States ain't the best, but damn it, I'm holding it down for white people. Lays it up inside. Oh, and um, Rodney says a Gator fan there. I enjoy, I'm a bandwagon college football fan. 
I was a Miami Gators fan first because of the 2001 championship team. That was solely why I cheered for the Gators. And then I got into Alabama because I really liked how their defense played, but I still big fan of the Gators. Love those guys. And then, of course, because of Reggie Bush, USC. I'm not a true college football fan. I just cheer for the Gators. I cheer for the Crimson Tide. I cheer for the Trojans. I'm bugging. I said Gators. Oh, fucking hurricanes. What's the matter with me? Well, I got Gators on my mind. I'm thinking about when I was in New Orleans because I was eating Gator meat. Pause. What is wrong with me? I'm in a Genjutsu. I'm bugging. Chris says Haslam's stealing money. No, he's not. Haslam is not stealing money. I said Miami Gators. What is wrong with me? Let me take my, I got to slap myself. Oh, well, I'm going to slap myself. Oh, hey. Crack the hell out of my neck. Huh. Ah. Release. That wasn't a good idea. I said the Miami Gators. I'm a big dummy, man. It's the Florida Gators. It's the Miami Hurricanes. Jesus. Yeah, but um, Udonis Haslam is there solely, solely, solely for leadership purposes. People undervalue how important a leader is in the locker room. You think, look, take a look at the last championship teams. There was veteran leadership on each of those teams. Every single one. You don't need your entire roster to be filled with a bunch of ballers. You need vets that are there. Even if he don't play minutes, he plays a pivotal role. He's been on each of the Miami championship teams. He's played in five NBA finals. He understands what's necessary to win those games, the psychology that's necessary to win a title. He's making sure this very young Miami team stays on course. You got to make sure that your shit don't stink. You can't just, oh, well, we up this in, in the series. Ah, we feeling comfortable. We going to go on and win. Exactly, Jeff. Juwan Howard did the same thing for the Celtics in 2008. P.J. Brown did the same thing. Richard Jefferson was still balling when he played with the Cavs, but he did the exact same thing. Matt Barnes, what do you think he was doing for the Warriors? He did the same thing. M.L. Carr, when he played with the Celtics in the 80s, the hell you think he was there for? All he did was talk trash and foul people, but he played a pivotal role. He set the tone for certain things. Yadonis Haslam was the enforcer on the championship Miami Heat teams. You think he's not setting the tone? Why do you think they brought Andre Iguodala in there? Veteran leadership. Shane Battier did the same thing, but Shane was actually balling. Shane, Shane, Shane was playing very good, very good defense. Rap, no, Raptors, Kyle Lowry was their best player. What? Well, Kawhi. But... Kyle Lowry is a guy who's been around the league for a while, man. You need vets. Too often do people think, oh, man, yo, get this vet out of here. They're not even playing minutes. They on the edge of the bench. They just over here taking money. Nah, it's deeper than what's on the court, man. It's about off the court. It's about the camaraderie ship. It's about building that brotherhood. It's about making everybody on the team truly play for each other. And that's why you need the veteran leadership in the locker room. If you got a team filled with young guns, you could have a bunch of ballers of 25 and younger. Bunch of guys who could get the job done. But let me tell you something. You ain't got the veteran leadership to set those guys straight. It's over. If you don't got a vet who will tell you when you're down 18 points, you can come back. It's over. You got to have a guy who's there and tell people, yo, we got to calm down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a timeout coming. Why do you think when timeouts happen, you see Adonis has them damn near right next to Eric Sprostra? Jalen Brown, this got to be his fifth foul. This got to be his fifth foul. That's his fifth. No, no, no. I think they said his fourth. But Goran Dragic able to draw the, the blocking. Damn, he felt kind of bad right there. Oh, wow. That's his fourth. Jalen Brown's got 15 points. 5.43 left on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Tyler Hero's got 30. Balling. Yes, Dirk. Why do you think he stayed around? Matter of fact, not even Dirk. Kevin, uh, um, Kevin Garnett. What do you think he was in Minnesota for? Although he was trying to get an ownership stake, it's about veteran leadership. Vince Carter, thank you so much. That's why. Bro, 
Box says, can I stream Bears primetime for Gale Sayers? Um, are the Bears playing on Monday? I, I plan, I'm always going to stream Monday night and Thursday night. I just had something come up this past Monday, so I didn't stream for the uh, Las Vegas game. But I will be streaming uh, moving forward Thursday nights. I'm streaming every single day um, this week with the exception of Sunday. Because Sunday I got to record the commentary as we go, but... If possible, I get the stuff done. I might just tune in second half. I could always do that for you guys. I may miss the first half. I could always tune in second half. Jason Tatum's got 20 points in the second quarter. He was scoreless in the first. He's come alive, but now the Celtics need the others to go and step up. You can feel comfortable when Jason Tatum is quiet in the first quarter, second quarter, but you're only down by six. But now Jalen Brown's in foul trouble. Kemba's still a constant presence, but it's not very consistent. Gordon Hayward, he's hitting shots here and there, but it's not consistent. They need somebody to go and score along with Jason Tatum right now because Miami's firing on all cylinders. Hero's going to go until the end of the game right here. Hero's going to finish the game right here, and this brother's hitting at a high clip. So what y'all about to do? On the court right now for Miami, you got Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, Goran Dragic, Jimmy Butler, and um, Andre Godala. Very dangerous pass here by Hero, but there's a foul on the floor. And this is called on who? Is that on Jalen Brown? That's his fifth. That's his fifth. If that's Jalen Brown, that's his fifth. Why are they not showing the graphic about this being his fifth foul? This is something very important. There it is. Five fouls. Get out of the break. Tyler Hero. He's probably going. Oh, wow. Straight to the paint. Go up. Go up. Andre. There we go, Andre. Pass out. Goran Dragic. His three-pointer. No good. It's rebounded, saved by Iggy, pass inside to Jimmy Butler. His jumper is an air ball. Bam able to get the ball back. Tyler Hero, step back, three-pointer, no good. They call a foul on the floor on Bam. Miami has to finish when they get offensive rebounds. This is now the third time around, the third sequence where we've seen offensive rebounds, second chance plays, and they fail to put in the basket. Five minutes left to play here. Boston trailing by six. And if you guys have not already, download the Hot Mic app, use the promo code Adonis, get it on your phone. We're doing a 10K follower giveaway. Brand new PS5, brand new Xbox X. You can be the one who wins. Download the Hot Mic app. The Celtics are now in the bonus. No sabonis. The Celtics are in the position that I wanted Miami to be in. One free throw is made. 95-90 is the current score. If I'm Jimmy Butler, I'm attacking the basket. Why are we taking jump shots? I understand Tyler Hero's hot, but there should be no reason why anybody's taking jump shots here. Go to the basket. Jason Tatum already has three fouls, if I'm not mistaken. Bam out of bio trying to get to the cup. It's no good. Haywood right now pulls the ball out, gives it over to Jason. Marcus Smart, wide open three-pointer. No good. It's a brick. If I'm Miami, I'm not going to build, I'm not going to milk the entire shot clock. I'm not doing that. It looks like that's what they like to do. I'm not doing that. And if you guys are watching All Hot Mike right now, make sure you hit the follow button as well. Give me a follow. Possibly mess around and win yourself a PS5. Tyler Hero, long three-pointer. Bang! Bang! That's how the white man shoots the basketball. Holy smokes, this man is out of his mind right now. 33 points for Tyler Hero. That man wants to go up 3-1. Jalen Brown answers right back. Toilet bull puts in a three of his own. Holy heavens. Tyler Hero, magnificent three-point shot. Calls timeout right in front of Eric Spolstra. This guy is a baller, man. This guy is a baller. But the Celtics are only down by five. The Celtics are only down by five. It don't matter how good Tyler Hero's balling. The Celtics are only down by five with a little bit under four minutes left to play. 
And if you guys want to win yourself $25, if you're watching on YouTube, you got to download the Hot Mic app, use the promo code Adonis, and leave your suggestion pardon me, your submission for the total amount of points that will be scored today, all right? If you get that correct, you win yourself $25. But remember, it's first come, first serve. Leave your score prediction. I got the screenshots all day. You see people leaving their prediction right now. It may be a little late, but hey, you never know. Even if you're wrong, the closest one walks away with the money. You got, you got, um, a Quante leaving t 210 index. Uh, uh, Cy Cool putting 218. Johnston, um, saying 205. Panda says, I just followed. I appreciate that, brother. If you guys have not already followed me on Hot Mike, go over and do so. Win yourself a possibility of getting a PS5 or a, um, you know, Xbox. I still can't believe I said Florida. I can't believe I said Miami Gators. Like, that's ridiculous. Here we go. 340 left on the clock. Miami leads by five. Tyler Hero, another three. That's a brick. They are wilding with these threes, man. Crisis says, screw Tyler Hero. All my heroes hate Tyler Hero. All my homies hate Tyler Hero. Bailey says, who's holding the Cleveland Browns back? Their front office. Kemba Walker, who's been shooting very well this game, kicks it out. Jason Tatum, his three-pointer, no good. Kemba Walker, great rebound. Jalen Brown trying to find his way to the basket. Pass over to Marcus Smart, who lays it up inside. The lead is down to three. It is a three-point game. If I am Miami, I am attacking the basket. For what reasons are you not in the bonus yet? Marcus Smart's got 10 points. He's got 11 assists. Jimmy Butler is the closer. Get to the free throw line, and we've got a foul on the floor. Is that Gordon Hayward? That's got to be his fifth foul. It's the fourth team foul on the Celtics. This got to be the fourth or the fifth foul. Oh, my word. He tried to, he tried to put, he tried to put, bam, in the, in, in the, in the, uh, um, the arm lock. What's wrong with him? Gordon Hayward says, fuck them kids. Congratulations on his wife giving birth, but he don't want to be there for the birth of the children. He said the Celtics basketball is more important. There's the inbound. We're under three minutes left to play. Hayward's got five fouls. Marcus Smart's got four. No, Brown five. Hayward four. Smart four. Tatum four. Two seconds left on the shot clock. Step back. Jumping for Goran Dragic. No good. Rebound by Miami. Clock resets. But they need a basket. All these offensive rebounds, they need a basket. Jimmy Butler, here comes the help defense. Three seconds left on the shot. There is the layup inside. Goran Dragic gets it to go, regardless of the fact that he kind of hooked uh, uh, um, the, 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 um, Gore, uh, uh, Gordon Hayward's side. But he gets that to go. 100 is on the total. Tatum is called for a travel. Holy Toledo, what are they doing? Brother took out his Venture Express card. He took out American Express. He took out Capital Venture card and said, I'd like to go travel a little bit. How about I go to Tulum? How about I go to Mexico? How about I go to somewhere in Bosnia? I'm going to travel just a little bit. 2.15 left on the clock. Terrence says, who's the best on the floor? Jimmy Butler. The best player total, Jimmy Butler. Best potential, Jason Tatum. There's Jimmy Butler inside. Step back, turn around. His jumper is good. Holy shit, he came in for the late shift. He said, I'm sorry, manager. I'm the closer. This is what we're here to do. We got under two minutes left to go. We got some Chisel to Donna's commentary. I ain't going to look at no comments. We going. Jason Tatum, his three-pointer goes in. We got the lead. It's cut down to four. Y'all came here for commentary. Damn it, you fixing to get some commentary. It's time to turn on the burners. They getting in crunch time over there. I'm going to showcase that I don't drive automatic. I got the clutch in the car, and you about to get the best damn thing on the planet. We've got a little bit over 100 seconds left to play. Let me stretch a little bit because we about to get the beautiful jokes. Here we go. Goran Dragic, wide open three-pointer. Bang, it's going in. Both teams got two timeouts, 105-98 on the scoreboard right now in favor of the Miami Heat. Trying to take a 3-1 lead. Boston trying to even up the score. There's Gordon Hayward on the outside. Fuck them kids. I don't want to see my wife give birth. 
There's Kemba Walker, who's been shooting pretty good. There's Marcus Smart, takes a step inside, tries to get a ball over the go oh, oh, wow, wow, what is wrong with Hayward? Hayward can't hold on to the basketball. Just like he can't hold on to a beard, he can't hold on to the basketball. Goran Dragic drives, kicks it out. There's Andre Iguodala. Tyler Hero has the basketball. But is he a role? Is he a hero? Is he a villain? Is he a hero? Is he a Jimmy? He's not a butler. One-on-one -on -one with Kemba Walker. He's got him. Here comes the pass inside. Tyler Hero layup is good. It's good. It's good. Seven-point lead. Pardon me. Nine-point lead. Where's my math? Quick maths. Nine-point lead for Miami. And Bam Adebayo can't lift his left arm. What the hell is wrong with Bam Adebayo's left arm? It must have been when he almost got put in the chicken wing by Gordon Hayward. He's a hero. Tyler is a hero. Stop playing. That brother did not come out here to go and let things down. He says that's how the white man plays basketball. He said there are not enough white people killing in the sport of basketball, and here I am putting on for my race. Don't you ever say white man can't jump. Don't you ever say white man can't shoot. Don't you ever say white man can't drive. Don't you ever say white man can't ball, because Tyler Hero is out here putting on for his race, for his color. Pickle says game over, man. Game over. Chris says, Tyler is my hero. Nick making sure I remember he said 238. Lamont says 224. Michael says 225. Darius says 213. Come on now. Damo says, who says white people can't shoot? Racist people say white people can't shoot. Anybody with a brain know you're not supposed to leave a white man open. I don't care who it is. Motherfucking... Thomas Jefferson could be in the grave right now. If I put a basketball on top of his casket and I leave it by a hoop, somebody better guard him. He going to give you buckets. Somebody better guard him. Kemba Walker inside gets his runner. No, he doesn't get his runner. It's a brick. 47 seconds remain on the clock. Jason Tatum pulls up from three. His three-pointer is good. The Celtics now in triple digits. 1-0-1. Both teams in the, bo in the bonus here. 35 seconds remain. No foul just yet. The lead is six. And the ball is stolen. It's stolen. Jason Tatum is fouled. Jason Tatum is fouled. Two timeouts remain for Miami. Let's take a look at the replay here. <clears throat> Wild pass by Drogic, but Jimmy Butler's got to hold on. Oh, wait a minute. That might just be all ball. That may just be all ball. Ooh, this might be something you want to challenge. This might be something you want to challenge. That's a, oh, oh boy. There was a little bit of duet action over there. A little bit of duet action. Rosetta Stone, Haitian Creole. That means finger, motherfucker. There was a little bit of finger action over there. I'll give a finger right there. But oh, Lord in heaven, here we go down to the wire, wire. Pause. But ain't nothing wrong with that. Here we go. It is down to the wire. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not already, hit that like button. We got 800 plus in the building. Hit that like button. More importantly, download the Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis. You can win yourself $25 if you could predict the total score. Granted, you're at the back of the line right now. But for the next stream, you might have a possibility of winning. More importantly, on the Hot Mic app, we're doing a 10K follower giveaway. We are giving away a brand new PS5. We are giving away a brand new Xbox as well. Download the Hot Mic app. It is absolutely free. Use the promo code Adonis. Get it on your iPhone. Get it on your Android. I don't care if you use the app or not. You should. It's a magnificent app. But you got to download the app if you want to qualify to win yourself a little bit of prizes. Get your mom's phone. Download the Hot Mic app. Get your dad's phone. Download the Hot Mic app. Get your grandmother's phone. Download the Hot Mic app. Get your grandfather's phone. Your niece, your nephew, your son, your daughter. It don't matter. Get their phone and download the Hot Mic app. App. You got an ex? Download hot, the Hot Mic app on her phone. You got a boyfriend? Download the Hot Mic app on his phone. You got a side bitch? Download the Hot Mic app on their phone. You got a mistress? Great. Take their phone. Download the Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis. Get it on your doggone phone. Panda says Hot Mic section. Indeed. 
They're going to call a jump ball over here. 29 seconds remain. Oh, no, 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 Bam Bam. Don't do that. It's him and Jason Tatum jumping for the basketball. There's the jump. Oh, wow. The Celtics get the ball, but they got to make sure that they get it back. 25 seconds remain. Down by six. Tatum is going to pull for three. No good. It's a brick. And they're going to give the basketball to Boston. 18 seconds remain. Eighteen seconds remain. Bam could barely lift his damn left arm. I don't know what happened, but everybody put your hand in the air and give your power to the Miami Heat. Of course, you know, un unless, of course, you know, you're a Boston fan. If you're a Boston fan, don't put your hands up for the Heat. That's stupid. Put your hands up for the Celtics. Power some, you know, energy to the Celtics. You're in the building. Said, I'm finna smoke the Boston pack. Indeed. Bam out of bio, 20 points. 12 rebounds, 4 assists. He only had 12 rebounds. I felt like brother had like 18, bro. They're trying to figure out who the ball is out of bounds on. Jimmy Butler, magnificent turnaround jumper. When did Bam get hurt? Was that when Bam got hurt? Oh, no, it was a pull of the elbow. Oh, I've had that happen before. But he's holding his wrist. Let's see who the ball went out of bounds on. There's Tatum step back jumper. Good face guard by Iguodala. Oh, that's oh that's Celtics ball. That's out on hero. Come on now, give the Celtics the ball. Come on, that's out on hero. Let's let's be real here. What are we looking at? Somebody release the hey, release. Everybody in unison release. Get the get get the refs out of this genjutsu. They think the ball is out. They they trying to figure out who the ball out on. One ref is slouched over. He's assuming the position. What is the matter with this guy? It's clearly Celtics basketball. What are we doing? It's Celtics basketball. Release them from the Genjutsu. How can't they see? Stevie Wonder could see it's Celtics basketball. Serenity, Joey's sister, could see it's Celtics basketball. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh joke. A lot of people like to say Stevie Wonder when they talk about blind people. Not a lot of people say Serenity. It's a throwback for those who grew up on Yu-Gi-Oh. This is clearly Celtic basketball. Why are we... Debating this. <laughs> Webb's World says, what's more ridiculous, the Feed Me Tattoo or Antonio Brown's Whole Lot of Money um, remix? The Feed Me Tattoo. Why would you ever tattoo Feed Me More on your pelvic, a little bit above your pelvic region? Like, are you serious? Jalen says Ray Charles knows it's day ball. Absolutely. Thank you. It's Celtics basketball. Thank you very much. Let's come on now. Let's call it down the middle. Dorian says rigged. Oh, I wouldn't say that much. Why the hell would you rig it for the Miami Heat? If anything, you would rig it for the Celtics to play against the Lakers. Here comes the, I almost said, here comes the snap. Pass over to Jalen Brown in the corner. His three-pointer. Bang! 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 He puts it in. 16 seconds left to play. Wait a minute. It's a three-point game, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, last time Miami nearly fucked away. Their, you know, the opportunity to win the game in regulation against the, um, when they played against the Bucks. Wait a minute. Jalen Brown puts in a three, says, ice in my veins. I may have five fouls, but I still can play aggressive. Wait a minute. Here in the corner, Jalen Brown, magnificent three-point shot. If I'm Miami, they're obviously going to foul and try to send you to the line. So because that's the case, get the ball in the hands of foul shooters. If I'm Eric Spolstra, I'm doing substitutions to make sure everybody on the floor is a foul shooter. Unfortunately, right now for Bam, having that wrist injury, he has to stay out there. Jordan say he just got here. That boy T-Hero is good at basketball. That ain't no lie. That is no lie at all. 
Jay says 218. If you guys want to qualify, win yourself $25. You may be at the end of the line, but you can possibly still mess around and win. All you got to do is download the Hot Mic app, use the promo code Adonis, and predict the total score for tonight's game. Right now where we're sitting, if I'm not mistaken, that's 211. I got to make sure my math is correct today. But that's 211. And Solomon had said 211. Darius said 213. Jason also said 211. There's the foul. Preston also said 211. They said Celtics. But right now, he's fixing to go to the free throw line, so we'll see what happens. Once I go and I scroll up, we're fixing to see who's going to go on and win. This here money. Hey, boo-boo. Let's see. Tyler Hero at the free throw line. Two free throws. Puts it. There's one. Bang. There it is. Put it at 108. We're at 108. Andre Iguodala now in the game. Defensive purposes. Duncan Robinson headed to the bench. Next free throw, bang. There it is. 37 points, if I'm not mistaken, for Hero. 109-104. They still have a timeout. I guess they're not using it. Kemba Walker foul on the floor. Jimmy Butler's bugging, man. Jimmy Butler don't need to play that damn aggressive. I understand you trying to take the ball away. You don't got to reach in these moments, man. You up by two possessions. You don't got to reach. Hell, you know what? Now looking at the replay there, you can mess around and make that a three-point. He's shooting three. He's shooting three. He should be shooting three. Yes. Yes. Dumbass play by Jimmy Butler. He's shooting three. That should be shooting three. Come on now. We're not cheating over here. We don't cheat at home on Nugget Studio. Hey, he's reaching. That's why it's a foul. They in the bonus. You got no business doing that, man. They have to rush for a basket. Why are you? What are you doing, Jimmy Butler? You bugging. I understand playing aggressive, but that's stupid. That's a bonehead play. You don't got to do that. Even if, even if Kemba's flopping, of course they're going to flop. You don't put yourself in a position to where you can become a victim of flopping. He puts in two of his three, and here comes the final one. Way to fuck yourselves out of it. A, a, a surefire win that you probably could have got on the next two possessions. This game possibly could have been over right now in real time. Kemba puts in all three, 109-107. Miami got to use a the timeout. They should have never been in this position. Once again, get the ball in the hands of Tyler Hero. Get the ball in the hands of Duncan Robinson. Get the ball in the hands of free throw shooters that will make both free throws. And now you put the pressure on the Celtics. But you cannot come out and do this. They did not need to foul. What was the purpose of this? You don't have a foul to give. Jimmy Butler did not have a very good basketball moment right there. You got a high basketball IQ, but that's not what you do, man. That's not what you got to do. The game was over, absolutely. Butler, Butler, Butler didn't look like, no, it did not look like a foul, but the problem is don't put yourself in the position. Regardless of the fact that you may have gotten all ball, don't put yourself in that position. Just stay in front of them. You are up by five. There's no reason to do all that. Even if they get a basket, they most likely were going to have to score a two there. Kemba had no plans to just throw up a three. If Butler just stays in front of them like this, they're not calling a foul. Make them at least put a, foul att a shot attempt up. Don't foul them and send them to the line. That's the last thing that you want to do. So if I'm Miami, you don't need to do that. That's a bad play by Butler. They got an inbound here. Oh, my word. They threw it into Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler doesn't get fouled.
There's uh, six seconds remaining. I mean, Butler had a lane to the basket. I understand why he didn't take the, the shot. I get why he didn't. That was a very dangerous pass. But right, oh, as a matter of fact, yeah, yeah, that makes sense because Jalen Brown was right there. That could be a block. Fair enough. He's five for five from the line. 21 points tonight for Jimmy Butler. It didn't feel like he scored 21, but 21 points. Here we go. Right now, the combined score is 216. Marcus Smart fouled out. Here we go. Six seconds remain. Miami leads by two. Marcus Smart is fouled out. Jimmy Butler at the free throw line. Two free throws pretty much ice this game. This game is over. Two free throws. Because a whole lot has to happen for Boston. Not to say it's impossible. Jimmy's first free throw is good. It takes a little bit of time to get in there, but it is good. 22 points right now. Boston still has a timeout. They're going to use that timeout after the uh, whether it's a make or miss. But Jimmy has to make this. You have to make this. You miss this, you put your team in a terrible position. He makes both. There's a timeout coming from Boston. They're going to advance the ball. Right now, if I'm Boston, I understand a three makes it a one-point game. Two point. Think two points. Do not think three. Think two. Two points. Do not, do not draw up a play for a three. Please, if you're Boston, do not draw up a play for a three. If they draw up something and somebody throws up a three, throw, take the L out of love. It, take the L out of love. It. It's over, brother. Right now, 218 is what we're sitting at right now. 218 is what we're sitting at right now. Let me go and scroll up. Let me see who was the first to say 218. I got the screenshots. But let me go all the way up to when we first had started and we'll go work our way down. To where you could have walked away with an easy, some easy money. Two eighteen total score right now. I'm seeing Jordan said two eighteen. Jordan said two eighteen. <laughs> Mahomes, fifteen goats said two eighteen as well. Six seconds remain here. Here's the inbound. Gordon Hayward gets it to Kemba. Kemba throws up a three. No good. Thies gets the tip. Oh, Jordan puts. Oh, Gordon puts it in. Gordon puts it in, 111, 10. Jimmy Butler's fouled, but he didn't really have possession. Damn, the, two, the 218 people just lost it. And Butler's going to the free throw line. Good hands by Butler. Damn. Good hands by Butler. Two-point game, 1.1 remain. Two twenty right now. Those of you guys who missed out on the score, it's unfortunate. Here comes Butler. First free throw is missed. He missed the first free throw. One point one remains on the clock. He gotta make this one. You gotta make this one. I am high. Twenty four says you were close with two seventeen. Indeed, you were. Butler. Puts in the second one. 1.1 1 .1 remain on the clock. Boston's got a heave. Three-point game. The pass is broken up. It's broken up. Jalen Brown couldn't get off the floor. And that is the final. Miami takes a 3-1 lead over the Boston Celtics as they win 1-12-109. Tyler Hero leads all scorers with 37-39. Doesn't matter. That brother was balling. Let's go, Miami. 221 is the total score for tonight. And let's take a look to see who predicted 221. And here we are. The line starts here. Let's go. 221. 
So far, the closest of what we're looking at right now is um 217. Peyton, oh, Peyton got 220, 223. Shit, Jay Corey got 220. Jay Corey, you the closest right now. You got 220. Shit. Ghost got 222. Ghost got 222. But there it is. Oh, there's Malcolm. There's Malcolm. 221. Right there. Malcolm, I hope you're here, brother. I hope Malcolm's here. 221 is there. Two twenty one is there. Malcolm, are you in the building? Cause two twenty one is there. And there it is. Malcolm is here, ladies and gentlemen. We have a winner. There may be multiple people with two twenty one, but remember, it is the first one who gets it there. Who is the next person with two twenty one? I see a lot of two twenty two and two twenties, man. But Malcolm is the first one there, and you have won yourself some money, Malcolm. You have won yourself some money. Damn, Cy Cool at 222. God damn, clap it up for my Hey, Peyton. Peyton, you were close, brother. You were close. You know, my, my, you my man's 100 grand. Matter of fact, you in Brooklyn. Well, you in New York. You in the Bronx, though. God damn, clap it up for Malcolm, man. Leave, Drop your cash app in, in the hot mic. Drop your cash app. You're watching on YouTube. You have an opportunity to win yourself some money. Download the Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis. And you can win yourself some money. Shout out to Static Shock. Put $4.99 on it. It said 90. Negan Yo, Vo put uh, two twenty. Uh, put 25 on it. it. said thank you for the Miami. I just won over $600. My man. Clap it up for Negan, man. You won $600. That's what I like to see, baby. That's what I like to see. What I told you, the over. We going on the over. You won yourself $600. You my guy. Let's go, baby. Malcolm, you dropped that cash app. Let me see it one more time. Let me scroll. Let me see if I find your cash app, Malcolm. Claps in the chat for Malcolm. Drop your cash app. Drop your Venmo. Drop your, your PayPal. Whichever one you accept the bunny. We got to send you the money, and then I'm going to go and celebrate. Crack open a bottle of, uh, well, I'm after, I'll get myself a, 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 a little bit of tequila right now. Tequila or whiskey? Tequila or whiskey? Miami up 3-1, baby. Let me go over to my story. Let me go post right now. We got to put, let's celebrate. 3-1, baby. 3-1. Ah, ah, ah. Three one. Let's go. Let's go. Stop playing with us. Y'all saying whiskey? Some people saying tequila. Let me go find the Miami Heat page. Ah, oh, they ain't post yet. Where you at, Malcolm? Did you drop the cash? I'm scrolling. I can't. I don't see nothing. I see you in here. Did you email me? You gotta. You gotta write it in the chat. I gotta send Malcolm his money. Real ones drink whiskey. You ain't wrong. Let me go grab. Let me go grab. Grab myself. Some doggone whiskey. We're going we to celebrate. Let me go grab myself some whiskey. Some Uncle Nearest. Go grab some whiskey real quick. Henny. Oh, nah, nah. We ain't drinking no Henny. I hate Henny. Malcolm was just here. I'll be right back. Hold on.
Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Crack open that Uncle Nearest. 100 proof right there. We don't even need no damn. We don't need no, no ice. Hey, Miami fans, we taking a drink, baby. We taking a drink. That seems substantial. This would be a decent drink. Taking a drink. We up 3-1, baby. We up 3-1. Claps in the chat. Tyler Hero came to play. Tyler Hero, 37 points. This brother came to bowl. Oh, I see you, Malcolm. I, I got you now. I got you now, Malcolm. I don't know why I didn't see it pop up, but I got you now. Cash app is that. All right, I got you. Let me go get you now. Let me send the money over to Malcolm. I don't know what was going on. My, my joint was not showing up to me. But I got you now, Malcolm. NYK110. Well, it's not popping up. Oh, it's four. It's three ones. Hey, I got you. Shanika Thomas, just to confirm, is going to Shanika Thomas. Just to confirm, is Shanika Thomas, this, this you? got to make sure all right got you brother congratulations you've won bam big money big money has been sent. Congratulations. Just write in the chat that you got it. Let me know that you got it. You won yourself 25 dura. Let's go Miami Gators, baby. <laughs> My dumb ass. Quayshawn says, I want to be a hero. Pokemon Advance. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah. Uh. Yes, indeed. Miami up 3-1. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to have to add the music my dog on self. Let me go find Tyler Smith. Winning. All right, Miami, we're going to take a drink, but we got to make sure we got the music playing.
Let's go, baby. Let's go. David Box put five on it. Says, shouts out to the So What. <laughs> so What Sun Clan. I love Hold My Nuggets crew. Yes, indeed. Take another sip for the heat. We got one more win coming. We got one more win coming. They counted us out. They said Boston was going to go the distance. Look at them now. They going home. Stinky. Miami up what? 3-1. What we did tonight? We... We winning. We winning. Boston going home. They stinky. What they doing? Go to Hayward State in the bubble. He said, baby, go give birth to my baby. I'm saying here because we going to win. But they didn't. They didn't. Jason Tatum. Bricks in the first half. L's. Nothing but L's. Stop playing. Oh, yes. Well, the drink done. Circus, the drink done. I mean, it's pretty much finished. I mean, there's, there's like a drop in there. It's pretty much done. I ain't going to pour another cup. What's the purpose of that? We got to celebrate for the next game. Most points by a rookie by, um, against the Celtics. Tyler Hero passed Derrick Rose. But regardless, Miami walks away with the game four victory, man. Up 3-1, baby. Here's what I need you guys to do. All right? First and foremost, if you're watching on YouTube, if you have not already, download the Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis. You could possibly win yourself $25 the next time we stream. That's tomorrow night. I'm going live every single night. Tomorrow we're going to do we doing football we're doing basketball. Hmm. Probably football. Go figure it out. Probably football. But um, we're going live every single night. We're going live for game five. We going live for game five of the um, Lakers and, and, and Nuggets on Saturday. We going live four consecutive days. And then we going live on Monday. So tune in. You can win yourself 25 Dura. Sometimes it may go up to 50. I think I'm going to be giving away 50 during the NBA Finals. Shit, we may, may go up to 100. Nah, that's a whole lot of grand loss in there. I'm going to have to take the unchiseled Adonis wallet. I see it right there. I might get, get my hands on it. If I get my hands on the unchiseled Adonis wallet, we're giving away $100, baby. But whatever the case may be, download the Hot Mic app. Use the promo code Adonis. You can also qualify to win yourself a PS5 and Xbox X as well. Once we get to 10K followers, of course. But I have been the host of Hold My Nuggets Studios. The diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical, individual, the chiseled Adonis. I appreciate all of you guys tuning in and rocking with me. Shout out to the Sports Fury for sending over a raid and bringing people over. Right now, we've already got the game highlight commentary, primetime NFL game highlight commentary. It is up right now. If you have not seen it already, leave this stream. Go over and tune, tune in, man. It's already up. All right? Go over, tune in, check it out. You're going to enjoy it. I will have... Tonight's game highlight commentary posted most likely on Friday. I'll record it tomorrow. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to. I got to do two Laker games. I got to do game two and game three as well. But both of those will be posted tomorrow. But stay tuned, man. We got nothing but com you know, content coming. Tune in to all the live streams. You get the best commentator in the world. You get good basketball. More importantly, you get laughs for free. For free. Why not subscribe? Why not join and become a follower on the Hot Mic app? Giving away free money, giving away free laughs. This is the best place to be, man. Hold My Nugget Studios is where the place is the best place to be. It's where it's at, as the people in the late 90s would say. But once again, I'm the diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical, individual, the chisel of the Donaldson. When we saw the Miami Heat take down the Boston Celtics 112 to 109. Malcolm walked away with $25. Goran Dragic scored 22. He's on the interview with, um, you know, uh, uh, um, the guy who's bald but wears glasses. But Tyler Hero was tonight's savior with 37 points as Miami takes a 3-1 lead. I am signing out out you guys will see me tomorrow have yourself a magnificent night man get some